Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights Over Arkham. The following four player playthrough of my custom scenario, the COVID mask was played on Tabletop Simulator at FarcomCon 2020 on Sunday, the 2nd of August. I'd like to thank Vase Odin from the Twisted Tank Knuckle Inn for recording this playthrough and letting me use it on my channel. I will provide a link to his page in the video description, as Vase and I also did the blog that ate everything scenario together during ParkamCon. We also had another content creator, Vern, from Until the End of Time, to join us for this playthrough. He was playing one of the soon-to-be-released in Starter Investigators, Stella Clark, so if you don't want a few cards from Stella's pack spoiled, check back after the new Investigator packs have been released. I will also provide a link to Vern's YouTube page into the video description. Without further ado, I present to you the COVID mask. Welcome everybody to the Twisted Tentacle Inn. I am your innkeeper Vase Odin and today we're going to be streaming a very special episode for FarcomCon 2020 and it is called the COVID mask. Uh, this was a scenario that was uh, created by Northern Lights of Arkham who has his own YouTube channel and he will be game mastering. Mr. JP, would you introduce the scenario? Hi, so we are playing the COVID mask and it is a customized version of the return to the pallet mask scenario. Uh, players have to invoke social distancing and try to keep healthy during this time of the pandemic and that changes the flow of the scenario a bit. Uh, I'll go through the special rules, but uh, first I think we should see who are our, our little lab rats for this <laughs> game today. So uh, why won't you start with your deck base? Sure. Uh, I will be playing Leo Anderson. And uh, the deck is, as all Leo Anderson decks are, it's very acid heavy. So... Uh, I include or very uh, ally heavy so I included a few copies of black cat mostly for tanking and helping with the uh, chaos bag but um, overall pretty standard Leo Anderson deck lots of guns lots of knives and lots of allies and lots of resource generation unfortunately one of my weaknesses was indebted so I start with less resources wah, wah. so pretty straightforward I do plan on using uh, well prepared in conjunction with black cat who has two wild icons so if I have included very few skill cards because I'll have two wild icons basically once I get those two cards in play, if everything goes right. And uh, joining us today as well, we have another um, Arkham Horror YouTube channel, and that is Until the End of Time. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? It's Werner from Until the End of Time. Uh, awesome that I could join. I had... Basically, I wasn't planning on joining, but last minute people dropped out uh, and I got a chance to play Stella, so I'm not going to say no. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, hi. Glad I could join you and very excited to see this. I have no idea what we're doing, so <laughs> it's going to be fun. I hope my mic's good. Uh, I'm not using my regular mic, so... You sound sounds just good. fine. Yep. Awesome. Also, can you double check that we're live? Because I'm looking at the YouTube page right now, and it's just showing the waiting for. So uh, refresh it. We're we're definitely live. Uh, just refresh it. Okay, it's awesome. uh, it's a little delay on YouTube, uh, more so I'm than Twitch. Anything, but, okay, well, sounds good. Let well, me let me repost the link while you while you explain your deck. Uh, do you want me to repost my uh, link? Yeah, go ahead. And, no, I'll repost the link to the uh, to okay. the actual video on the Discord. But uh, go ahead and explain your deck while I do that. Oh, my deck, yeah. Uh, well, it's pretty straightforward Stella deck. Uh, we want to fail uh, one test a turn to get things like Rabbit's Foot. Uh, and we have Take Heart to get money. We have uh, basically uh, a bit of everything because I didn't know what replay? the rest of the group was doing. So I have like the guns, the Derringers for fighting. I have Track Shoes for evading. And I have newspapers for getting clues. So a little bit of everything. Very cool. Stella Clark, by the way, is a new investigator from the Investigator Starter decks. There there may be a couple of spoiled cards in here, mostly her signature. So if you're sensitive to spoilers, just keep that in mind that you will be spoiled for those. Uh, joining us as well, we're playing a four-player game. 
and we have a duo here. Uh, why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Rowan, why don't you go ahead? Sure. Hi there. Um, I'll be playing Min today, um, and really hoping to get the uh, analytical mind out early. I've played this deck quite a few times, and it's a lot easier for um, the sharing of um, pips and so forth um, if I have the analytical mind, because then I can move around and gather up clues. But mostly, this deck is geared towards gathering up clues, and in practice, I've found myself wandering along alone around the board, mm -hmm. just getting every clue that I can. <laughs> Um, well, yeah. clues are really important. Uh, yeah, right. So I... um, Min, real quick, I oh. just saw on your deck list you have indebted as one of your weaknesses, so I'm going to pull it out for you. Oh, okay. So you could. Thank you. No problem. Let's resolve that real quick. Thank you very much. No problem. And finally. Hey, um, I'm Funky Monkey Monk. Uh, my name's Will. I'll be playing Dexter Drake today. Um, this is a slightly alter or alternate build of uh, Was This Your Asset that was on uh, um, created by Mordendal. Um, very heavy Spellslinger deck. Uh, what I'm hoping to do is quickly get out a Lucky Cigarette case, use Watch This over committing to some of my, uh, some of my head checks and to generate some cash and have my Arcane slots filled at all times. Uh, one of the big tweaks that I do is I put Torrent of Power in so that there's that one test you absolutely cannot fail. I absolutely will not fail it. That is a really cool card that I don't see played enough. It's awesome. And I see you have Suggestion in there, which is really cool. That's a great yeah, card. I really like it. Um, that one, I will, I will fully credit the author of the original deck for that one. Um, I love what they did with it. I also threw in the two open gates because remembering the original pallet mask, I might need to make a quick exit. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, um, that's that's really handy in this scenario. Um, definitely. Yeah. Um, um, speaking of the scenario, so I'll go to uh, the changes to the normal return to the pallet mask scenario, and we can then get started with the playthrough. So, um, I am JP and I'm the Game Master for this game. Uh, the Game Master basically uh, hangs around, works uh, in the shadows and resolves all of the infection tests and uh, stuff like that. So, uh, there is a couple of things players need to know. Uh, first, uh, when we have construct the, the catacombs deck for this uh, scenario. Uh, normally you would remove four locations, but in this scenario, to make it even more uh, time crunchy and a bit harder, maybe, uh, there are no locations removed from the catacombs deck, so the catacombs uh, map will be larger than normal. Then uh, we have the uh, research site the location that will have this uh, asset strange range attached to it. Uh, when you get this asset, there is a possibility to heal infections off of players, but it's not that straightforward, and uh, you will see soon. Uh, also, players will all start with a face mask, as uh, mask asset in play. The face mask asset protects you in the start of the scenario from getting infected and also from uh, the social distancing rule. So you you are safe for a short time at the start, but uh, the longer you stay with the group, the uh, more strain goes onto the face mask and it, it, it will break eventually. So then you are so not protected against the <laughs> infection, so to speak. And the deck building has one change in it. So uh, during the pandemic, uh, people should wash their hands. So everybody has uh, hypochondria as one of their basic weaknesses in the deck. And that's already been resolved. So uh, you build your deck normally. 
but one of the weaknesses uh, added is the hypochondria. There will be a patient zero at the start of the scenario, so uh, the game master will randomly determine one of the players as the patient zero who is infected at the start of the scenario. And because uh, COVID is uh, sim symptomless at the start, so uh, I, I haven't written a prologue or introduction yet to this scenario, but basically the idea is that players were getting tested, passed out in the hospital, uh, seeing a glimpse of the man in the palace mask and wake up in the uh, catacombs and they they have been tested for COVID but they still haven't got the results in. so nobody knows who's infected or and who's who is uninfected uh, that will be uh, revealed later in the scenario uh, and the game master will do that when uh, a key moment of the scenario has been reached then um, the infection may spread in two ways. At the end of the round, if an infected investigator is in the same location with the least, at least one non-infected investigator, a random non-infected investigator may become infected. Also, during a skill test, if an infected investigator commits cards to a non-infected investigator skill test, vice versa, the non-infected investigator may become infected. And how this works, uh, the Game Master has a special infection pack with three skulls and three zeros. So there's a 50-50 chance if uh, you are you are in spreading the infection, you get infected from an infected player. And the Game Master pulls one token from the back and either tells the players to remove uh, tokens or the face mask from play or just mark up who got infected, and the players don't know if they get infected. Then um, there is a way to cure the infection, and that is uh, that is where the strange syringe uh, asset comes into play. So there are two ampules in on the strange syringe. So when uh, players find it, they can try and heal maybe the weaker uh, party members so that they can survive out of the catacombs because uh, in the end the infection takes its toll and there's a force effect at the end of the game. Each infected investigator with less than half their health remaining rounded down is killed so they can't survive the COVID infection if they are too weak. So maybe maybe heal the elderly or the wounded to make them survive out out of the catacombs. There's only one elderly in this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Leo is in the risk group. So there's also the social distancing rule. So at the end of the round, if your investigator is at the same location with another investigator, take one horror. And this has nothing to do with the fact is if either of you are infected because it's just a paranoia of uh, getting scared of getting the infection so it, it simulates that that people try to avoid being near other people and if they're uh, cramped up in a tight space they are losing their minds because they they suspect they are getting infected by the virus uh, last thing let's uh, look a bit closer about the face mask. So the face mask has uh, uses one sanitation counter. Uh, when resolving the effect of infection spreads or social distancing, while face mask is in play, ignore them. The game master will do a test to see if a sanitation counter gets removed from the face mask instead once per round. And this once per round means if you all are in the same location, I want to uh, four tests. I do just do one test and tell if you need to remove a counter or the face mask from play. 
And if there are no sanitation counters or face masks, then a sanitation counter should be removed, remove face mask from the game, and do not result the effects of infection spread and social distancing for the rest of the round. So uh, if this gets removed, you still are protected until the start of the next round. So even if it uh, leaves play, you don't lose that protection for that round. But actually, I got some feedback on the face mask wording, and I may change it a bit so that there would be, uh, after I revise the card, there would be two uh, counters. And when the last counter is removed, the face mask also gets removed, so it's a bit clearer. But Basically, there's two charges, the one charge and the face mask. So you, ha you, are, you have some protection at the start of the scenario. Uh, other than that, uh, the goal is the same as in the pallet mask scenario. Uh, the objective is to find the man in the pallet mask. He is somewhere in the catacombs and do not advance until you are instructed. Uh, one thing to note, when I have constructed the catacombs deck, the uh, research site location has been shuffled to the top six car uh, with the top five cards of the catacombs deck. And as normal, the tomb of shadows that you are looking for and the block passage is in the bottom five cards of the deck. And that's about it. So you can start surviving the COVID mask. From Perfect. Now. And <laughs> good luck and have fun and also try to stay safe thanks jp all right let's start our opening hands and see what we get so what i'm gathering is that i can use my lack of social distancing to power up fight or flight so, <laughs> hoping none of you were worried about horror because i'm definitely going to do that there you go that's awesome <laughs> not a strategy i recommend in real life by the way um you don't have to hide your cards because people are watching no, i'm doing too. that for i'm doing that for um oh for the mulligan gotcha okay there we go. Well, that's actually not bad. What's this card? Granny Orn. Oh, yeah, she's real good. Oh. oh, and if anyone has any questions during the game, I'm I'm hovering around here all the time and can can answer if there's any things that are unclear. I do actually have uh, one question. Do we have a lead sure. investigator? Oh yeah, uh, you can choose the lead investigator. So is there a? <laughs> uh, Lead investigator who wants to be one, or um, I okay. forget if the, if it's important in this scenario or not. And, uh, it's not that important because it, it would basically mean that the lead investigator has the man in the pallet mask in his or her deck, but it's removed uh, during the setup, so it doesn't change anything. Um, it just determines who starts to take the uh, counter cards at the start of the middle, um, in the middle space. Yeah, um, I, I guess I could be lead investigator. Sure. That's fine. Sounds good. All right. Uh, Some uh, decent starting hands, I think, right? Yeah. Well, uh, lead investigator, may I go first? Go ahead, sir. Uh, okay. Uh, so my first action is going to be to play uh, Granny Orn level three. Uh, I'm for the purpose of the stream, shall I just explain what the card does real quick? Yes. Uh, so, uh, Granny Orn, she gives me plus one willpower and plus one intellect. And while an investi run investigator at my location would fail skill test, I can exhaust her to either give that investigator plus one skill value or negative one skill value. So, pretty good. Uh, chat wants to know what program we're using. Sorry to interrupt real quick. Um, and thanks, uh, Lost in Time and Space, great old, <laughs> great old timers. Uh, so, the program is called Tabletop Simulator, and this is a mod for Arkham Horror. The card game. Uh, go into the Discord for FarkhamCon and ask about it. They'll tell you how to get it. Okay, so my second action was play Rabbit's Foot, and my third action was an Investigate. Unfortunately, I did not fill my Investigate, which I was hoping for, uh, so I simply picked up one clue, and that is the end of my turn. Uh, Beautiful. Uh, okay, I'm just quick, setting up. So if quick you guess... strategy discussion. Um, do we want to break off into pods? Just like with real social distancing, we can grab a buddy and still have someone to be with. We'll probably figure out who has it pretty quick. Uh, oh, well, uh, we won't know. Yeah, there's one thing I forgot to mention. There, 
basically is no way to tell if uh, you are infected or not. There isn't a way to uh, deduct it because even if you lose uh, counters from the face mask, it may be the result from the social distancing rule, not the infection spreads rule. Ah. So uh, there will be a point in the game later where you might find out if someone is infected or not, but that is still to be <laughs> undetermined when that happens for you. But I know when it happens. <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right. So if, if you guys don't mind, I have a very quick round because I'm literally just, because I'm indebted, I'm just going to set up real quick. Is that all right with that room? Yep, go ahead. Perfect. All right. So my first uh, free action from Leo Anderson, I get... Uh, I get to play an ally, but I really don't want to do that. I'm just going to uh, use my first action to gain a resource, second action to gain a resource, and then I'll pay five resources to play Hot Streak so I can have 10. That is my round. Uh, if you don't mind, I'll go next. I was thinking about moving up one just to get a, a little bit of distance between you. So. <laughs> Yeah, this scenario you uh, have to yeah, spend clues. That's what makes it challenging. Investigating. Yeah, <laughs> like we need clues to spread out. So yeah. yep. Yeah. Thank you. How about um, pointing out? Oh, we can let Ming go first. Uh, and yeah. we do have this ability on Granny Orange still. So if you fail test by one, I can make you pass. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Let me let me go ahead then. Um, so I'm gonna drop magnifying glass as a free action, and what that does, it gives me plus one. Um, investigation, so it's a fast action, which means it doesn't actually cost an action. Um, and if there are no clues at my location, I will return magnifying glass to my hand. Uh, again, not an action, just a thing that happens. Um, so I'm going to investigate, and I'm going to use deduction to do that, because I think we need to get some more clues. And what that allows me to do is, um, if the test is successful, I can get an additional clue uh, from the location. So um, I currently have uh, six for investigate, and I believe the location is just one. So hopefully this will do pretty well. Minus one. All right. Success, yeah. So two clues. Um, here you go. I got you. Very, uh... Oh, thank you. Yeah, I guess I'll just drop them down here or somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I'm so used to using the uh, yeah. the clue counter here, um, and I think I'll just do a normal um, investigation check for my other two, and that Sounds way we good. can get moving. Minus three, that is still a pass. Oh yeah, and uh, I can help with tidying up the table. So if you grab clues, just throw them on the board, and I'll clean up after you. Thank I you very have, much. Look at that, JP. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, Nate, lost in time and space. Of course I'm using Matete. Come on, it's Leo. There we go. All right, so I've got four clues now. We should be able to uh, move around. Pretty productive. So, yeah. so, Dexter, you can actually move if you want. Yeah, if you don't yeah. mind, I will take that. Not and... at all. I'll I guess it's entirely four. random. Oh, wait, actually, uh, can I spend one of them? Sure. Uh, I have a newspaper in my deck, which gives me a bonus if I don't have any clues. So I want to go to zero clues as often as possible, basically. <laughs> no problem. Good idea. Sure, I'll spend three of mine. There you go. Uh, cool. So I will move up. Crypt of the Sepulchral Lamp. Oh, that seems good. <laughs> oh, why, thank you. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I do have a bit of a setup turn here. So when this comes into play, we get two more catacombs locations, and also we can investigate it using willpower instead of the normal skill, which is of course great for Dexter, who's a mystic and has a very, which already has six willpower thanks to his tarot cards. So, oh, do you mind if I played a card before I moved? I forgot to drop my open gate. I don't care. That's fine. Fine with that. Yeah. Let's uh. Since I started, had it in the opening hand, let's make sure that there was an open gate at the entrance. And then I will 
spend three to drop Molly. Nice. Uh, I mean, what I she would... does again? So Molly, when exhausted, I deal her one horror and name a trait. Um, one at a time, I'll reveal cards from the top of my deck until an asset with the name trait is revealed, drawing that asset, and then shuffle the revealed cards back into my deck. Um, so what I am going to do is search for a charm. Uh, I'm happy to do this one at a time, but I think you'll find that the only charm in my deck is a lucky cigarette case. Then just find that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, just do a search. Just, uh, find it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Uh, Lots of hats. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody wants to fish in to help. And uh, you played for free, moved, uh, played Molly, so. That's the end of the investigation phase. Yeah. yeah. More action. Right. I think uh, there's more action. Move yeah, yeah, play Molly. Oh. Free. Yeah. I just also, saw that. Or, of course. I will happily do my accounting. I just need the second. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. Um. So, one more action to go. Yep. yep. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that as an investigate. Um, sure. I believe I'm investigating six, six on two. two, so I'll do that straight up. Oh. oh of course it's better there though yeah, than the somewhere yeah. more important. Okay. And that's my turn. <laughs> Okay, so uh, no enemies, uh, you can go to upkeep, and after the upkeep there's an infection uh, step of the, or inf Ooh. infection phase, so I will determine the social distancing and infection spread uh, token pools, and after that you can continue to the ne uh, next Mythos phase. Cool. So as Dexter is all alone, nothing happens there, but... Min, Leo, and Stella are still clamped up in one space. So, uh, uh, Min loses one charge from the face mask. So you can just remove that. Ready? And mm. Stella is fine. And Stella's Leo... always fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Leo also loses one charge from the face mask. Ah, that is the infection phase. <laughs> So, uh, one thing now quick, you uh, can... the king in yellow uh, came out on the inside, so I just want to point that out for the okay. people. Though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is, uh, it's good that it came out early, but when we're still not bogged down with enemies and stuff. Yeah, uh, what that just means, um, just for the folks at home, is that I cannot commit exactly one or two cards to a skill test, uh, however... After a skill test is successful in which I've committed at least six matching skill icons, um, then I can discard the king in yellow. Very tough okay, weakness. So, One of the worst in the game. Yeah, that's it's a really tough weakness. But uh, we are ready to go to the middle space, so... Doom! Uh, Out of six. Leo can start the drawing of the Let's counter Let's do cards. it. Here we go. Bad card time. Says... Oh god, the shadow behind you. Such an awesome treachery. So it goes in my threat area, and I have to use an action to look behind me at the end of the turn. If I didn't perform the ability, I have to discard all my resources, which I have 10 of. Uh, or discard all the cards from my hand, and then discard this. That's uh, That sucks. All right. so, I, so I think Leo will play a ton of assets and drop the... <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Alright. Okay, and we go uh, clockwise, so yeah. it's uh, Dexter. Dexter. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and I got a pull for guys. Yeah. Dexter, then just Stella... real quick. But do, do you have a yep. resource? Uh, should you have one more resource? Uh, or did I miss something? Because I told you to open the uh, gate and open you faced three for. Uh, yeah, but you, he also should have gotten one for uh, upkeep, right? Oh yeah, good uh, point. Yeah, upkeep, and you know what? Yeah. I forgot to do one too. Yeah. Look yeah. At that. <laughs> just. Keeping an eye out for you guys. Thank you. Uh, That's a great yeah, part about yeah, multiplayer that yeah. on solo, if you forget that, no one's there to remind you. Uh, Spirit's Torment uh, gets attached to the Gates of Hell, and it reads, uh, Forced after we leave this location, we either take a horror or lose an action. We can place one of our clues here to discard it. 
Which, given that it's one shroud, is maybe not the worst, but I still dread her nuts. And then it's Min in Kanakar. Um, too many. There was a delay there. Yeah, thank you. Oh, uh, God. There's, <laughs> there's a pit in the gates of hell, so I think you need to get out of there. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that card is. That card can be really rough. Yeah. Well, time to leave. All right. Uh, I actually have a question for uh, Leo. I don't know if we're supposed to be playing with the fact that we can see each other's hand, but I have seen the card in his hand, so I'm just gonna ask: Are you going to play that Intel report this turn? Um, you, you know, I thought about it, but I'm probably it. not because of this thing being. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I really wish I put Alter Fates into my deck now, because I could have gotten rid of the pits, but it's not in there. So, we don't have as many options. Uh, who wants to go first? No takers? I'll do it myself. Do it. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to try and grab a clue here, or two here, because they are here. So, first action, investigates. Plus one, I succeed. Second action, investigates. Uh, zero, I still succeed. This is not how Stella's supposed to be played, people. I'm supposed to be failing on my tests here. Uh, <laughs> and Dexter, I'm really sorry, but I am going to have to come over because uh, I don't want to get well, yeah. out of the pit. We're all so coming over. Move. And then, uh, well, yeah, and then because of Spirit's Torment, uh, when I leave this location, I have to either lose an action or take a whore. I will take one whore, and I will end my turn here. And that's me. And who's next? Um, if someone's feeling particularly generous, I could use a uh, a spirit talk to. I just don't have <laughs> the uh, the investigate to get rid of it myself. Um, I'll go next. Um, I won't be able to help you with your spirit just yet, because um, so many problems going on here. Uh, so first, I do have a lot of icons on my uh, cards in my hands, but that does mean you potentially get uh, COVID. Just you know, show you now. Yeah. Two, uh, so first free action from Leo, I'm going to play Mitch Brown. Um, so I have three actions left. Um, I will, yeah, this, this is crazy. Uh, I do need a weapon, so we'll play the machete. Goes in play. It's action one. Uh, action two, I will look behind me, see the pit, and then run. Action three, move to where you guys are. Bloop. And I'll take a horror. Okay, that's my turn. I'm gonna draw a card. Um, and that's not what I was looking for. But that's all right. Um, then I'll investigate and. Uh, Hmm. I'm considering I'll take three damage, yeah. Yeah, I think uh I think I'll start either heading up where everyone else is or heading down. I'm actually considering heading down. Head down right now. Because we need the clues to be at the location and oh, I took yeah. two of the clues with me upstairs. So sure, sure. sorry. <laughs> no no, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Um yeah, it looks like I'm following the group. <laughs> yeah, what you could do is grab that last clue, move yeah. uh, after them, and then open another location. Because then there yeah, you have uh, clues too. We should have enough uh, there, yeah. Alright, I'll do that. Okay, so it's a zero. Yep. And you grab the last clue. Yeah, there we go. And then I'll move up. And let's open up some new locations. At the end of your turn, right? Because you drew yeah, first action. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Dexter can now spend the clues to move to a new location. Yeah, but Dexter's also got a bit of a geist issue, so... Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Dexter, do you have a relic or spell uh, that could kill the thing? Parley is intellect I think you might be muted there. Uh, yeah, no, I do not have anything that can help here. I was hoping someone would talk to it for me. Um, I'm gonna you have to make... for uh for another spell. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it doesn't take a fast action so or it doesn't take an action so i don't believe i take an attack of opportunity 
Uh, yeah, it, it's uh, pre-triggered ability, so it doesn't take the attack of opportunity. Um, oh, yep. This I actually do have to draw because it is a spell. Um, yeah, I am going to... Over here, they should not uh, cause all the tokens to spawn in, I think. Yeah, you I was can, just going to draw them into my hand. It's probably the easiest way to do it. That works, too. So they'll be behind the token. One, two... Ah, uh, that is a spell. Uh, but it has to be an asset. So yeah. Assets. Oh, oh, perfect. Yeah. Keep digging. Uh, that is a spell. It is unfortunately both a spell and an asset. So let uh... me put the rust back. Oh, you don't have the money for it. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, well, there is the possibility to use Dexter's ability to discard the four cups and put it in play as a fast trigger ability with one less cost, but yeah. of course you lose the tarot card for that. Yeah. Um, I, I have a lot of icons in my hand. If you want to just try to parlay with my support, I can give it to you, but you know, there are risks. <laughs> yeah, if I was going to do that, honestly, I should have just uh, started at the beginning with that. Um, I think I do need to touch the Four of Cups to have a chance. Okay. So I could put that into play, costing two. And then I will make the test. This is my will, which is five plus my foot, or plus my evade, so that's two. Seven on four. And I really don't want to chuck the watch this at it, so I won't. I'm going to take the test, 7 on 4. And it's a plus 1. Excellent. So the poltergeist is evaded, and you right. still have 1. Uh, so you... I have evade. 2 actions left. You have 2 actions left, yeah. Yep, uh, let's get me out of here. Um, I will come back once it's a little less crowded. <laughs> um, shall we go left, or, or I'm sorry, right, or up? I think we want to stay as close to the uh, to the entrance as possible, so I would go right. I would go right, yeah. Do we have the three clues? Uh, uh, the four clues. clues. Yeah. yeah. Min and I uh, have the clues together. Oh, you do? Okay. Oh, yeah, I, have, I, I got two and you got two, so... No, okay. we, have to, we have to spend four clues total, so you have Those to spend four. two. All right, well. great. Yeah. It's for people at home who haven't maybe played the scenario, every time we want to enter a new location, we have to spend uh, one clue per investigator, so four-player group for uh, yep. clues just to flip that location. So I will move to the right. Okay. So it's the Shivering Pools, and after you end your turn at Shivering Pools, you must either take one direct damage or lose five resources. And you don't have any resources, you have to take the damage, oh but God. there <laughs> are new, <laughs> uh, new catacombs locations come into play. Below or to the right, so which one do you want to put here? Um, or here? Let's go with below. Below, okay. Um. Oh boy, well, it looks like I'm going to take damage either way, so I might as well move back now. Because it's either I take physical damage or I take the uh, sanity. Uh, no, no. That's a terrible choice. I will draw a card. For my third action. Uh, you could also take one resource for your last action because uh, you, while you losing your resources, you can lose just one. That Ooh, changes good point. the game state. Thank you. I will take the one resource. Okay. And you end your turn, so you lose the resource and doesn't uh, don't take any damage. And that is everybody. No enemies. Uh, we go to upkeep. Uh, this readies and. It doesn't have a prey, so anybody can take it. I want to take it because Leo doesn't have a um, relic bait or enchanted blade, and I'm guessing Min has more important things to do, so give to me. Okay. This is not and, one. <coughs> Thank and you, Star. The uh, pit at the gates of hell goes away. Thank God. So there's... We do still yeah. get an upkeep, right? Just just checking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you get an upkeep. I'm just Thank you. hyper yeah. because I have so little. Mm. Yeah. It's fine. And 
uh, when you're finished with the investigation phase, I'll do the infection phase. For, uh, well, it sounds terrible, but uh, here we go. <laughs> so, Stella is fine. As Still always. Fine. Yeah. Min is fine. And. Leo's fine. So, you are all fine. Nice. And Dexter's all alone, so. That's okay. Okay, uh, so that's the infection. You can. Proceed to the next mythos, so I'll add the second doom of six. And I believe that it is Leo first for the encounter cards, correct? Let's yep. do it. Fun times. Fun time says, Who <laughs> malformed skeleton? Oh my goodness, this thing is crazy. Uh, when it would resolve its hunter keyboard, keyword, if there are no investigators within two locations. Oh wow, okay. When Malform Skeleton attacks you, it deals either its damage or horror instead of both. That is pretty crazy. Alright. Then we're gonna go to... We'll go counterclockwise, is that right? No, clockwise. It's Dexter mm -hmm. next. Next turn. Yeah. Okay. Grasp hands. Ooh. Okay. It'll be fine. Um. It'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, I can see the deny existence in your hand, so I know you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And uh, let's uh, let's pull that straight up. Come on, just just draw the plus one. It's not a problem. Uh, oh. Well, that's yeah. not exactly. That's not exactly a plus one. <laughs> so let's deny that. Deny that existence. <laughs> Denial is nice. a powerful tool, right? <laughs> so um, deny existence. You can choose to when you would take damage, cancel the damage. Yeah. Yep. Uh, my encounter cards. I don't know what the uh, skill level of the average viewer is so I'm not quite sure how much we should explain but um, I think most people on. that that watch uh, are fairly familiar it's just like the newer cards I think that are more important to yeah. explain okay so uh, Ed Roof Scaring Fog uh, we now have a four shot location so that's a bit tricky oh. all right I made Min's job a little harder just a little bit all right Crip Chill do you... all right so this is gonna make me uh, test four um and if i fail i can choose i choose and discard an asset i control um all right bit of a shame but that's okay i think i'll just do that straight up i don't yeah i can't do anything else so minus two all right so i'll be discarding this magnifying glass mm. all right Okay, that was so, bad C fun C's. All right, shall I uh, take the lead again? Uh, Do it. I was gonna suggest oh. at the top of the round, I can jump in there, investigate three times. Uh, that way, y'all can get out of there this round, because that that's gonna be a will check. Yeah, I like can't. I can't get out this round because I have a creature, and then I have to deal with this. So. I think I can actually help you with that. Also, you're gonna have to bite the bullet on the shadow at some point. You can't just keep. Uh... No, I know. It's but I at, right now I do need to because I gotta get this card in play. And I, I know, need... I know. But I can I can help you with the skeleton if I go before you and the things go well with the uh, poltergeist. So. Uh, but yeah, Dexter, go ahead and uh, go first uh, if you want to. I, if you're gonna if you're gonna be fighting and staying in there anyway, by all means. I just don't uh, think I don't, I'm gonna do I don't success, think but... I'm staying here if you're coming in. Okay. You, you do what you do. I'll, I'll adapt to. I'm playing cool. Survivor, I can do whatever I want. I'll it's jump in and... Uh... That, like, if you're playing Survivor, you don't actually have to listen to the rules. You can just do whatever you want. <laughs> Pretty as much. I, as I am, as I am not <laughs> yeah, that, ex <laughs> that explains why we're staying in a group so much. Uh, <laughs> we're not so the only I... one who still has their face mask, so... Uh. <laughs> so I will pull uh, uh, five on four. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, wow, second one. Um... And then one, one more. Yeah, sure. All right. Hey, that one hit. Okay, so I have one clue. Also gone now, so that's pretty decent. Yeah. All right. Well, then I go second. The plan is to leave here, not get poor Dex invested, infected. Uh, so I'm thinking of doing something a little unconventional. You know, never done that before. <laughs> Uh, but I'm missing a card or an action, which is a bit annoying. Okay, I'm gonna first action engage the malformed skeleton. 
Oh, now I'm engaged you. with an enemy, so uh, I take an attack of opportunity here. I'm just gonna take two horrors straight to the face. And I now need to find some way to fail a test. A bit tricky. Okay. Holy uh, cow, I never noticed Stella has eight health and eight health. Yeah, and eight so sanity. Stella's kinda beefy. Uh, oh. So, second action, we are going to uh, parlay with this poltergeist. I'm at intellect three versus three here. Uh, this should be enough to make me fail, right? Oh, oh. There we go. So much better. <laughs> okay, so I failed. That means that I get to take an extra action. Thank the Stella. I also want to draw a card. Come on, one time. Survivor Instinct. That's not exactly what I asked for. But that's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna evade this small form skeleton because I don't want to take three on three damage and three horror. Uh, that's fine. Nice. And is there still anything stopping me or hurting me if I go down here? I mean, apart from the poltergeist that's gonna deal me another four horror. Uh, the question is, do I care about that horror? Because I think I'm fine either way. But. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Dex, I do have to stay here. My bad. I was hoping to be able to avoid it, but uh, I can't. So I'll commit uh, Nether in the Snow, this is Stella's signature. Um, three extra wild icons in this case, and just agility. I'll try to evade the Poltergeist, draw plus one. And have both the enemies locked down. That's nice. my turn. Go ahead. Min, do you want to go next? Yeah, yeah, I would. Thank you. So um, I'm going to do uh, an Investigate. Um, I'm going to commit, I've got a plan, uh, inquiring mind and unexpected courage to it. Um, so that has me up, sorry, someone's looking in there. I have some bad Six, news for you. Seven. Yeah. I think what you're doing right now is not well. bad. Yeah, it's a fashion on will, so you can't commit the, uh. Oh, the, the, the event. Oh, Though if God. you if okay. you move, no, no, if you move to the to the right, you can do the same thing. So that's fine. Okay. If you want to, you just yeah, take yeah, move and then... yeah, no problem. All right, I'll do that and then uh, do the same thing. Uh, do you want me to pull again, or are we all right with? with I say just keep your roll. Okay, cool. Um, so there we go. That's those three, um, and I do pass. So the king and yellow is king discarded. Yellow. Yeah, and I gain a clue, which is always nice. Um, and I think there's the shroud here anyway. Five. Uh, it's five. <laughs> uh, yeah, I um, can't move back. Can't really move down. Um, hmm. Let's see here. You know, I I think I can actually afford to to lose resources, so I will draw a card and stay here. You can also just take one damage, right? It's not yeah, yeah. It's just one direct damage. So that's true. That's true. And you have to decide right now. That's important. It's a uh, end of your turn. So oh, okay, yeah. Uh, you know, I'll I'll just take I'll take the damage. That's fine. All right, and that's the end of my turn. All right, Dexter, did you want to go next? Dexter went first. So oh, you already went first. Yeah. That's right. Oh, four players. Okay, so <laughs> let me play well, pre well prepared. Oops. So this goes, and then I think I'm set. I don't mind losing the others. Um, we'll play Intel Report. Uh, so we have to pay two more to discover one extra clue all right if you're going to not do anything else you could also move and get it at the five shot location which is probably a lot harder to get the clues at i don't know oh that's a good idea problem. let's do that yeah. and then intel report okay. there yep yeah so grab two clues there thank you that's a good idea yeah all right shadow behind me then triggers end of my turn right yep uh, yes I'll discard all my resources. All right, bye bye. Uh, doesn't shivering so... bolts also tri trigger at the end of your turn? Yes. What does? Uh, the, uh, location. the location. Yeah. So I take yeah. uh, damage or five resources. So damage. 
no problem. Uh, question, uh, so we're going to upkeep now? Yep. Uh, yep. Dexter, do you want me to just take both the enemies? You do have a suggestion, so I don't know if you want to just evade one of them. I can now um, face the skeleton. I can come back and face it. If you guys want me to. I am... I'm happy either way. Uh, my intent is just to investigate this location as quickly as possible so that you can get out of here. Yeah, I was thinking if you want to use the watch this, you should probably grab the skeleton because it's got only an uh, evade yeah, of one, call. so succeeding there is pretty easy. Uh, but yeah, that's, I mean, if you just want to really investigate three call. times, then I, then I just grab both of them. Yeah. Okay, uh, rest of the upkeep phase then, I guess. Draw our cards, gain our resources. Ooh, it's a gun. That's fun. Excellent, Ryan. Oh, <laughs> Interesting. Perception. What did you get, Dexter? What card? Dexter? Um, sorry about that. What card did you get during your upkeep, just so the audience can see? I... David Renfield. Oh, okay. Got it. So, well, David has at least one Doom on him. Game plus one. Oh, uh, well... Cool. And yeah, because I, I was able to show everyone I just missed your draw for some reason. Sorry about right. that. That's okay. It's my fault. <laughs> so. Okay. And I think the upkeep's done. So let's so. do the infection phase quickly. Sure. So tell us fine again. And uh, Dexter loses one charge from the face mask. And because, yeah, there's still one charge there. Leo loses the whole face mask, and Min loses the face mask. All right. Okay. Where do we put the face masks? Just, uh, just put it over to the side. It's, it's removed from sure. play. Yeah. There's no way right. to Let's get it back there. again. So, yeah. Well, all right then. Okay, and you can proceed to the next mystic phase. Three doom, right? right go ahead. Yeah, three doom, and then uh, starting with Leo again. Here we go. <laughs> Another shadow behind me. Back. Fun back times. Wow. Leo's very paranoid in his old age. <laughs> All right, Dexter. Understandable right now. Yeah. Oh, again. <laughs> um, oh boy. So I can help you. Um, I have Nighter in the Snow, which completely cancels this card. But if I do, I might spread the infection. Uh, but I think we both still have our face masks completely intact, so it's up to you. Yeah, I'm I'm down for that. I are you going to cancel want... the card? Or... Uh, so what Nighter in the Snow does, I'll I'll tell for the audience. Um, it's three wild icons, so for starters, you're much more likely to pass the test. But it also has the text: if this skill test fails, cancel all the effects of the fail test. So it would just cancel the for each point you fail by take one damage uh, effect of the test. So it effect effectively does nothing. Um, so yeah, it, it's up to you if you want to take the risk. Uh, Stella's always happy to help people, but you know, maybe not the wisest thing to do right now. But uh, uh, you want to take it. it yeah, sure. Okay. Let's take the rest. Well then, uh, Game Master, can you please roll for whatever you roll for when people commit skill tests to each other? Sure. So, you are committing to Dexter, right? Yeah. Silence. You can continue. Okay. <laughs> you may I, continue. I do, I have to, do I have to move to put in Lord Tully Mark on my sheet over here? Okay, so uh, Dexter's <laughs> fine. Nothing happened. Uh, Corpse Dweller, do we have any humanoid enemies in play at the moment? We do not. So Corpse Dweller only spawns uh, if there is a humanoid enemy. Basically turns into the Corpse Dweller. If there's not, I'm pretty sure it surges. Yeah. Into Eyes in the Walls. Excellent. Willpower test. So test Willpower 3 and I have to take one hole for each point I fail by. Uh, I do not fail. So... The rest of the text is irrelevant because I got plus one willpower from Granny Orn. Min, go ahead. Ready. Ah, oh, there's the human right now. <laughs> there we go. Catacombs docent. Is that the right pronunciation of that? 
Alright, so I'm just gonna go to the nearest unrevealed location, um, here? Sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Go? Yeah. I don't think you have a choice because this is not- Oh yeah, that's closer. two away. That's right. Um, alright. And what does he do again? You, he's an enemy, doesn't hit very hard, but you can talk to him to try and figure out what the other mm -hmm. catacombs look like. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Might be a good thing to go look into. Yeah, uh... Let's see, Dexter, do you want to go first? Yeah, I need to uh, evade this malformed skeleton anyway. Yeah. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm pulling did you forget your on... Resource again? I'm sorry? Uh, did you forget your upkeep resource again? I think you did, right? Because I think you're supposed I... to be free now. Don't think so. Oh. Okay, well, no, should be fine. Okay. Oh. I'll believe you. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I was I was just trying to do the math on that, and then I yeah. I got confused oh, a little bit when he asked the question. Um, My bad. So, eight I'm eight versus one. one. Okay. And how many resources on uh, watch this? Sorry. Uh, both of them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you succeed. By a lot. It is evaded. It is evaded, and you get your money. I... I think your mic is uh, having some issues. Yep, I... Uh, I will investigate. Great. So that's a pass. And then I'll investigate again. And I believe that's a zero still. Or a one. Uh, one. So yeah. I passed. Yep. So I've got two clues. Excellent. Uh, we should have a total of three, I believe. Uh, Unless you are also putting tokens on my clues. Uh, I have not touched your clue counter. No. Cool. Then yeah, we have. Uh, we okay, have three so then clues I'm, in this location. I would like to go next, and I'll grab one clue here and leave once I've uh, evaded the poltergeist. Yeah. I guess, although that does leave you with the poltergeist, I don't know if that's a problem. Because uh, keep in mind, you can only use suggestion once per turn, so maybe I have to deal with the poltergeist first. Dexter? Yeah, I would prefer if you would deal with him. Yeah, okay, well, then we're doing that. Uh, first action is going to be a parlay. Three versus three. Minus one. I'm just gonna pass. So I exhaust Granny Orn and give myself plus one skill value. Uh, and the poltergeist reads, we can parlay three to attempt to banish it. If we succeed, we deal it one damage. Yay. <laughs> and then I'll attempt to parlay again. This time, do I commit something? No, I'm just gonna go for it. Three versus three. Cultist token, uh, minus two, and if it is a attack, uh, it deals one less damage. It is not an attack, but it also does not succeed. So I get my extra action for being Stella. I get to draw a card. That's not very useful here. It's manual dexterity. Uh, I will attempt to parlay again. I'll commit, look what I found. So that's two intellect icons, five versus three. Minus one. Nice. Excellent. Very nice. That taken care of. And I that does leave me with the question, which what is my last action going to be? Because I kind of want to split up with old Dexter over here, but it doesn't seem like it's an option. I'll just uh, investigate here because I have willpower four and I draw another minus two. So I will get the last clue. So either of us can leave now. Nice. And that's my turn. Go ahead. All right, Min, do you want to go next? We need that last clue so we can open up the location b below us. Is Min still with us? Hello? Oh, right, I'm I think so sorry muted. about that. I was just muted there. I was having a sip of coffee. Um, yeah, so I, I can get myself to one up, uh, or sorry, two up rather, um, using perception and um, Min's ability is that she can add an additional um, icon onto um, any cards that are um, played uh, as in skill tests um, and lucky if I fail a test by under two I can play lucky to um, give myself a plus two for that so I think I think we should just try to risk that do it um, yeah so I'll investigate there, so I'm going to be two up. Um, and what is the 
this. Minus two. Okay. So this is, um, it's not an attack, so it's just minus two. That's perfect. Um, I pass, and so we have that last clue. Um, so we can open up a, another location. I believe you have two clues, right? Yep, let's use them at the yeah, at end of the round, right? Or do we use them okay. now to enter? Uh, not sure. Oh, no, uh, so man, we could use them anytime. Did you uh, draw a card from Perception? Oh, I did not. Thank you very much. I always forget to do that. And that is mine. exactly what I was looking for. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to put this down real quick. You know, just we'll figure out the question of uh, whether or not we're able to do that right now. Um, so are we able to do that right now or do we need to wait until the end of the round? When we move in, so um, okay. when we move to that location. But okay. uh, don't forget there, the docent is at that location. Yeah, so. I, can, I can handle him. Okay. Um, so that's two actions. Um, I can just draw for the third action. I know I've got another magnifying glass in there somewhere. So yeah, I'll do that. And then if you want to move down, then we're not together, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And that's not a magnifying glass, but it's still pretty nice. All right. All righty. Go ahead. Let's do this. All right. So um, first thing we're going to do is we'll spend the clues and no, let's uh, play Lone Wolf. Uh, Min, don't forget about the pools. Yep, yeah, I yep, just uh, took the damage for that. Oh, all good. Yep. Yep. Okay. So I play Lone Wolf, and as my first action, uh, second action, uh, I'm gonna we'll use the clues and move into that location. So one, two. Great. Bend this over here. I'll just be right back. So action two, I move into the catacombs. Boom. So what does this say? Forced. Put top three above, below, and to the right. Okay. Game Master's got this. Two shroud, a bunch of clues, and the catacombs docent engages. Is it aloof? No. Okay. So it engages me. All right. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, deal with him. I'm not going to use the parley action because it's too high of a test for me. So, as my final action, I'm going to just whack it with the machete. So, it's going to be a 5 to a 3. I'll commit the 32 Colt to make it a 6 to a 3, just for funsies. Minus 4. <laughs> so, that's a miss. That's a fail. So, go figure. Oh, man. Well, well. Uh, so end of my turn, this thing goes off, I'll lose my hand, and it goes away. Yeah, so for the people at home, just real quick, the reason why he has zero resources, and the reason he can't choose to lose all of his resources is because that would not change the game state, so that's not a legal, uh, yeah, choice here. Yeah, you can't pick to lose something you don't have, basically. If I had one, it'd be okay, but, yeah. uh, yeah, so I'd have to lose my hand. So that goes away, and then um, enemy phase, right? Sounds good. Yeah. So you take one damage or one horror. I take one uh, horror. This, I'll give it this to guy Mitch. still looks faded. Uh, Dexter, what do we do with the skeleton? Shall I take him? Uh, I'm happy to take him back and evade him again if you'd like. Uh, if I just want to meet him up. dexterity, so uh, I'd like to evade him. Then go for it. Take him. Yeah, there we go. And also, I think you can probably grab a bunch of clues and then go upstairs, so it seems fun. Sounds good to me. So, upkeep, everybody, draw a card, don't forget your <laughs> The tentacle infection is spreading. Man from mm -hmm. the ring. Yeah, we have pulled a lot of tentacles this game. Yeah, in, speaking of the infection spreading, uh, have you done the upkeep yet? We're or working on it right now. I think we're, we're, we're ready for, uh, I think Thank only me and, me and Dexter are on the same location. Because me yeah. and uh, yeah. Leo White, we split up. So, uh, let's basically, see. we're able to, yeah. 
So now Stella loses one charge from the base. Oh no! So... My look has <laughs> run out. <laughs> uh, Dexter's still fine. Okay, so that's the infection phase, so we can continue to the mythos. Alright, uh, mythos phase. You added a doom already? Yeah, go ahead. Alright, here we go. Card draws, uh, says, grasping hands. Ooh, that's, that sucks. Um, I'll use well prepared to boost my agility to a three. <laughs> so at least I have a fighting chance. Uh, so I'm tapping Mitch Brown's. Well prepared lets you get the uh, matching icons from a card that's in play. So here we go. Three to a three. Minus four. Oof. So I take three damage. I take three damage. One, two, and Mitch will take one. Sorry, Mitch. All right, Dexter, your Alas, turn. Poor Mitch. That was I just realized brutal. I should have two harder for being in the same room as Stella for two rounds. I think that's fine because of the face mask, uh, Game Master. Are we oh, supposed to have taken face mask on? So until okay. you put the face mask, you don't take the horror. Oh, face mask. all right. I've been taking horror when I shouldn't have been then. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. You can that's... remove it. All right. Let me take that off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, because I've just been taking it. Yeah, just to make it easier for you, I'll I'll say when you take horror from the social distancing, so you don't have to Sounds worry good. about it. Thank you. Thank you. So eyes in the walls, um, test head. Not too sad about that. Oh my I god! Sad about that. Oh. Wow. What is with all the tentacles today? Wow. This is oh, brutal. Yeah. Well, um, third? <laughs> JP, I think. When you were saying that everyone's made it through, I think this is the exception <laughs> at this rate. If we continue like you know this, what? we uh, we try to oh, be that exception, right? Come on, let's let's we can do this. We can rally from this. <laughs> so, I'm gonna yeah. put we one think, on uh, Molly and we're getting the bad pulls out of the way early. Exactly, we'll be fine. I'm about I mean... to draw. I'm about to draw another out of fail. Don't worry, it's about to get way worse. <laughs> uh, am I good to? Yeah. You're good. Do it. Uh, it's another pull, guys. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah, that's. If I you're, had to ask what's the worst card to draw right now. There. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Right. Hey, go yeah. ahead. All <laughs> right. Great. Oh, it's a minion. Oh, Dorothy. it's a minion. That's not too bad. Hi, friend. Yeah, no, that's not too bad. I mean, bad. If, if any enemy, if I were min, that's the one I would want. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, mostly happy with that. I don't All know. Right. Poltergeist isn't too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dexter, do you want to yep. go first uh, and leave before I get start evading enemies and stuff like that? Just so you're uh, safe? I'm happy to do so. Uh, I was also thinking, do you want me to grab some of these clues? Yeah, I think I, you know, maybe grab one or two of them and then book it. Cool. Then what I will do is I will chuck Molly, sorry doll, um, as a free action to play my lucky cigarette case and then I'll make the wisdom or the wisdom pull here to get a clue and that is a pass I will uh, I do believe I succeeded by more than two so I will use the lucky cigarette case to draw a card nice. so that's one clue Can I exist something else? Um, so that was action number one for action number two, I will pull again. And that's minus one, so I do pass. And then I will spend four of my clues, or do you want to spend three of or three of mine and if one of yours? Spend, if I can spend my clue, I'd like that because of the Then please paper. do. Yep. Because I don't know if I'm gonna ever see a clue again. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I will get out of dodge. Would you like me to flip it? Do it. Ooh, no clues. Research site. Reveal any catacomb. Oh, that's pretty cool. Also, I believe this has something to do with that syringe, but I believe our game master just Stepped AFK'd, up. so... Yeah, okay. let's take let's take three minutes, because i got to step away for a second. For okay. sure. Okay, if you... We'll take three minutes. Uh, I could continue playing, but... Uh, 
Well, uh, let's finish Dexter's oh. turn, and then I'll do yeah. an overall view. Alright. Uh, uh, that that is... Do? <laughs> that was your that turn? That is my turn. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. So well, I'll leave uh, it on Stella, the camera, and I'll step away for a second. All right. Oh, that's Sounds exciting. Good. In the spotlight. Yeah, um, <laughs> I guess I can talk to the, the, the viewers, because uh, I got lots of cool cards in my hand, and I don't have any money. So I'm going to have to try to evade some of these. I get all the monsters here. It's not great. But uh, assuming that works, I might be able to play a gun or track shoes, which let me run away from the other investigators really hard. It's also very important. Uh, but yeah, I think things are going well so far. Dexter has the unfortunate habit of drawing a lot of autofills. I prefer to be drawing the autofills because Stella's really good with them. But yeah. I, like I like well. to believe it's that I'm just preemptively drawing. Yeah, it's... I mean, that works. It's all just what you believe, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think things are going okay so far. We haven't seen uh, any <laughs> sign of the Menopal of Mask yet, which... Bit uh, bit worrisome, but uh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, we, we do have to make sure that another site gets dropped in, because uh, the research site does put another catacombs location to play. Oh, that's yeah. True. We'll just put that one to the right, I guess. Uh, okay. Well, let's yeah. let's wait right. until the game master gets back here. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's back. Good. Seems like he's back. Uh, uh, we, JP. Uh, Dexter, Dexter moved into the um, research site, and there was something uh, that's supposed to happen then, right? Yeah. JP, are you there? No, he's not back yet. Okay. Hmm. I hope he just stepped away. Or is on mute again. Doesn't look like it. No. Yeah, if he was on mute, I think he would have... Let me check Discord. He did message saying that he was AFK on oh, okay. uh, Tabletop oh, okay. Simulator chat. He did? Okay. Oh, I don't even it looks check like that. that. <laughs> Good, we'll wait yeah. for him. So, Stella, what did oh, you do yeah. on your turn? Uh, I missed I what... I can take my turn. No, no, I haven't taken my turn yet because oh, okay. uh, we did that wait. But yeah. I guess I can take my turn now. I'll um, start by trying to evade the malformed skeleton. It has one evasion. I have uh, four, and I'm going to commit male dexterity because I'd like to draw a card. I draw a skull, which is a negative one where I'm at, so I will draw and evade. Oh, oh, great it's card! Actually, pretty good cards. Yeah, so I drew Survival Instinct, which, uh, in addition to adding an agility icon, also lets me move away if I use it during evade. The problem right now is that there's not really a location I want to go to because if I move to either the pools or the research site, I'm going to be risking infecting somebody. And if I go down, we have that spirit torment that's still bothering us yeah. there. Although How does maybe that go away? place one of your clues. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I don't have any clues anymore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I have a I have a friend here I can parlay, so I'm just gonna do that. Oh, our game master's back. Sorry, we're interrupting yeah. my turn. Game master. Hey, uh, Dexter found the research site site, uh, and uh, okay. we were wondering if there's anything we need to do other than find the syringe. So uh, we add attach the syringe to the location, then. Uh, you put the topmost catacombs into the catacombs deck into play, above, below, or to the right of any other location. Good. So you can choose any other location. It doesn't have to be the catacomb. Uh, oh, the... right. Any other location. Uh, uh, yeah. In that case, can you put it to the... Uh, is it... What's it to the option? Oh, it's literally oh, the one I want is right. an option. I, yeah. wanted, I wanted it to the left of the gates of hell, but that's not an option. So... I think there's probably fine. You could also put it yeah. to the right, but I think the closer to the entrance, the better. So put it over there. Sounds okay. good. Yeah. Uh, well, then I took my first action, which was to evade the skeleton. Uh, <laughs> we were just discussing the card I drew. Uh, but now I'm going to parlay with the poltergeist. Uh, three versus three here. Uh, negative three, that's not going to make it. So I get my action back and I get to draw a card with Rabbit's Foot. Oh, that's a fun one. Let me see what's in my discard pile, because I just drew a resourceful. That's a lot of good cards in there. Uh, so for my next action, I'm going to be parlaying. I will commit a rabbit's foot, and I will commit a resourceful. And I think I'm going to try it with that. Nice. So I'm now two over, and I draw a zero, dealing one damage to the poltergeist. And 
returning one card from my Discord Pile to my hand, and there's really nothing better than a Nighter Inner Snow, so... Yeah, of course. We're just gonna get another one of those. And for people who are wondering, despite being a signature, the signatures for the Investigator Star decks do actually have the class uh, symbols and the colors, because it was something they felt like doing. Uh, I'm gonna commit it immediately to try to parlay again and succeed. And that's the Poltergeist taken care of. I think we're up to two Poltergeists down by now. Yeah, and that's, that's good. So, All right. Um, Leo, do you want to go ahead? I'm not entirely sure what to... Uh, sure. What yeah, to I got this guy to deal so, with, so that's fine. Yeah. All right, so beginning of my turn, a Lone Wolf kicks off. So I get a resource, and then I'm going to fight this guy. So I will use the Machete to this guy's face. Uh, so I'm testing a 5 to a 3. Minus one. Okay, so he's dead. That was the first action. All right, so now we can feel free to investigate here. I got nothing better to do. The shroud is a two. My intellect is a three, so it's not great, but whatever. It is what it is. So three to a two. And that's a zero, so I get a clue. And then we'll do it again. Nice. Three, three to a two. A minus one, so I get another clue. Awesome. Cool. Two clues. That is my turn. Alright. Um, so I have to deal with this uh, ghoul, ghoul over here. So I think I think I might just try hitting it. Um, I have this card called Mind Over Matter, and I think I'll use that on it. So for the rest of the turn, I'm, uh, I am spent one resource for that. I'm using um, Book instead of um, Fists for doing an attack, so I'm two up. So I think I'll just try to do that. Don't think he has retaliate or anything. He does not. So let's see how that goes. That's a minus two, and that passed. That poorly, but sadly, uh, you deal one less damage, therefore... It does nothing. <laughs> yeah. So you did succeed, yeah, but... That's all right. Wow. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. That's that's fine. That's fine. I can do it twice more. It's okay. Okay, um, so, there we go. so that's one damage. Go. Uh, hopefully. Oh. That's a minus three, alas. All right. Uh, that is too bad. Do you have the lucky in hand? I just do you. have lucky, so I am failing just by one there, so. Um, yeah, I think it's probably so, a good idea. Yeah, I think I'm going to lucky this. Um, so, that succeeds. And that means this guy is discarded. Hey, Mint yeah, took care of a ghoul. Look at that. Lucky, yeah. So you can also draw a card. Oh, thank you. Guts. All right. And yeah, that's, that's my that's turn. That's everyone. That is yeah. everyone. Enemy phase. Um, and I'm here. I'm... Nothing special in the enemy phase, I think. So we can go straight on to upkeep. Uh, well, this guy uh, readies, doesn't he? I'm gonna lose some resources here. If you want to get really specific, he technically only readies in upkeep, so... Mm. Yeah. Good point. Um, I, uh, I took the resource loss instead of, uh, damage, so I lost three resources. Alright. Yep. You draw your card yet, man? No, not yet. Oh, great. I've got a library, uh, laboratory assistant. All right, uh, let me draw my time. card, and I get the black cat finally. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. Gain a resource. Awesome. All right. Are we all uh, ready? I We're think all we'll ready to roll. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, just a note from the game master. Now you are all in different locations, so I don't have to do the uh, infection phase at all because there's Great. nothing happening. So you can we continue. Just, continue we just space. did it. We only yeah, did it to make your life easier. easier. Yeah. Okay. So five doom out of six. Keep in mind that when this advances, uh, bad stuff could happen. Yeah. Because we have played a scenario, we know that bad stuff will happen. <laughs> uh, don't worry. Stella's I believe. Gonna uh, take care of it. I believe five of six is affectionately referred to as the witching hour. Yes, it is. Yeah. Here we go. Is there Here we go. Evil to the deck? I don't know. I hope not. Eyes in the walls. Three willpower. Um. So for each point I fail by, I have four willpower. I will be committing, or I will be using while prepared to get two wild icons from Mitch. So, uh, um, there we go. Do you 
need guts, there's a risk of infection. No, I'm, I think I'm good because I'm three above okay. the test. I think I'm fine. Right, Thank you, though. No problem. You're welcome. Uh, Minus four, so never mind. I, I <laughs> do fail by one, but I'll take the horror. That's not a big deal. All right. All right. Okay. All right, Dexter. And my encounter, Spirit's Torment. Uh, let me attach that to location up here. Sorry, so, I'll be, right? so I'll be taking a damp horror or losing an action when I leave. Yes. Uh, are you planning on investigating the research site, by the way? Uh, not with that. Not with my fault. <laughs> I figured as much. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so the reason I ask is if you drop the clue there, you would actually pick it up and get that ability, I think, because it doesn't replace oh. anything. But uh, you don't have any spells right now, so I figured, oh, boy. Well, there's a pit, people. There's a pit below. Oh, my goodness. Well, uh, I don't know if it's possible to get that I mean, let's mean let's draw me in the counter uh, card first. Okay. I'll uh, just go straight. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes! Oh wow. yes! Okay. Uh, can we do? I just get all the friends. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's respond there some more. It's a persistent ex school friend. Yeah. Right. So I have a. <laughs> I have a... <laughs> okay. So I have a question. Is it possible to get? Uh... I guess the question is even, does Dexter want to leave uh, his location right now? Because you can't go down, because you're going to get in the pit. So I guess we have to ask first, what does Dexter want to do? So I was thinking we can, or I'll drop my la or Arcane Initiate and start gearing up to find some of my spells. Because I've been kind of playing like... Yeah, I mean, it makes um, sense. It's yeah. Just has me hanging out, and... Uh, I'm hoping not so eventually the catacombs next to me might open up. Okay, makes sense. Are you going to grab that ampule or the strange syringe thing? I wasn't certain how to do so. Is that an action or? When attached to research site, it gains the double action to take control of it. So you'd have to spend two actions to get it. Not a bad play then. Yeah, No. Um, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Why don't you go first then? We can see what, what happens yeah. and uh, kind of adapt to that. I'm going to drop the Arcane Initiate, because it's the Witching Hour anyway, so let's clear out that uh, Doom. So that costs me one. Um, I will use it, searching the top three cards. For a spell. Of course, that's not going to be the case. So let me put these back. And shuffle back up. At least you get to shovel the weakness back into the deck, maybe. Very I'll true, very true. Close to the bottom. So I will spend two actions to pick up the Strange Syringe. Um, question for you all, do you think I should just fast action my uh, Arcane Initiate out now, or you save that for a later turn? Sorry, what do you mean? Uh, you want to replace your Arc Initiate? I could replace my Initiate with an Initiate, or I can save that for a later turn. Save oh, it so for a later turn. You could get another, yeah, cool. but I think you want to maybe soak uh, with her or something. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, okay. then can I, I go next? Because I do have a massive Malform Skeleton on me and a bit below me, so things are uh, things are getting a little exciting. Uh, but no, no fear. Survival Instinct and Resourceful are here, and we're just going to evade. So if I succeed, I get to take a card back with Resourceful, and I also get a free move. I do succeed, because that is a negative two. Uh, the rest of the text is not relevant. I will be getting back a look what I found, which I can use to get clues later. And thanks to Survival Instinct, after I evade, I will take a free move in this direction. I think Tabletop Simulator is having some issues with my cards at the moment. If somebody else could put those down a little nicer, I'd be much obliged. Yeah, uh, maybe a bit bit lucky because I'm yeah. uh, hosting from Finland and you are all over the world, so <laughs> there might be yeah. slight lag issues, good. but I'll uh, tidy up to, uh, the cards better. Thank you. I don't have the lag issue. For the last two actions, I will be playing Trek Shoes and I will be playing the Derringer, and I will be passing the turn. Alright. Min, do you want to go next? Um, you got the goo on you. 
I do. I have another ghoul on me. I was looking at evading and hopefully moving. Um, and unfortunately, the best place for me to move is where you are. So do you? That's want fine. To we can go probably ahead? we can probably reveal the next location this round. Okay. So yeah, if you cool. if you can do that yeah, yeah. and grab one clue, that'll help. Uh, I'll see if I can. Uh, so I'm going to try to evade. So I'm going to commit um, manual dexterity. And with my ability to add the, the plus one to that, uh, I am pulling at three up. Nice. One second. Excellent. Don't forget about your uh, analytical mind. When you commit exactly oh, one card, right. you get the uh, Thank card. you. You know, I always forget about that. Um, all right, there we go. So I draw a card for that, and because it succeeded, I also draw a card for manual dexterity. Um, that is Ooh, nice. pretty darn exciting. Yeah, I'm Shortcut. quite happy, actually, with everything there. Shortcut's uh, a great card, too. Yeah, so I'm going to move down here. Um, yeah, and you know what? I think uh, I think I am, as a fast action, going to put Shortcut down. Um, that way we can get in and out of here quickly. Um, and um, so that's a fast action. And what's the shroud here? Two. It's two. Great. Um, so it's one, two, and then I'll look for a clue. Um, and I'll put deduction down for that. So I'm going to be, again, three up on this pull. Nice. And that's a zero. So that's two clues, and we can reveal some more locations. Perfect. Um, yeah. All right. Um, for me, I'm going to gain a resource from Lone Wolf, and then let's go ahead you and move. You're not going to gain a resource from Lone Wolf. Oh, you're you not. Oh, you no moved worries. in. Yeah, you're right. Thank you for yeah, the reminder. Sorry about that. That's no worries. fine. I got plenty. Um, so, um,. First action, free action, I will play Black Hat. Cool. Um, actually, it costs... Hold on. <laughs> it costs one. Uh, and then... Was that three? I can't remember now. What I, if chat remembers, I don't remember. Anyways, um, so now I have three actions. Uh, let's yep. go to... Let's go to the right, I think. All right. I'll spend now, two, you spend two. Move to a connecting location. It doesn't have to be revealed, so I can move for free. So I don't have to use an action oh. to do that. Let's use our clues. All right. Sounds good. So I still have three actions left. Nice. All right. <laughs> Reveals. And Labyrinth of Bones. Oh. Top three catacombs oh. above, below, and to the right. Perfect. Look at that. We get three locations out. That's pretty exciting. Yep. So three actions. Let's... Um, Okay, so uh, just a quick update. There's still one uh, card before that bottom five cards, which you are trying to read. So you're uh, getting quite well uh, into the catacombs now. Yeah. So not many locations left before you Good. may find the Tomb of Shadow. Okay. Good to know. Here we go. Uh, we're, I'm just going to investigate three times. Three to a two. So one Sounds above. Good. Here we go. One. That's an auto fail. God, so many of those today. So many of two, those. Two. should get a count. Minus one. That. So I do get one clue. Hey. Excellent. And then three. Auto fail again. Oh, wow, wow, dude. Uh, that is ridiculous. That's, that's like the number six auto fail. Already. I think there's yeah. like four auto fails in the bag is really what's I, going on. I feel like we should have an auto fail camera. Yeah, I feel like there's a secret mechanic that every time one of us fails one of our infection checks, another auto fail goes into the bag or something. <laughs> that might be it. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, yeah. Um, enemy phase. This guy ready is yeah. Yep. He yeah, doesn't hunt. Uh, skeleton ready. as well. Does the, oh, skeleton does actually hunt. I didn't realize that. Whoops. Yeah. Uh, we have our auto fail co uh, counter coming in hot. I think. Uh, Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Needed. You might want to put that down a little bit further. Uh, yeah, I think, uh... So they can all see it. Uh, let's yeah, say we are at six now or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I feel six <laughs> sounds good. Might be seven. Upkeep. So we got to upkeep. Uh, so... Yeah. Uh, let's see. There was something else that happened. Right, there's a pit below that explodes. Uh... Oh, yeah. And, OK. 
Okay, well, it's not the best. Okay, so this goes, it gets discarded. Right. And, and then I believe, oh, <laughs> we have our out of fill check or, uh... oh, that's just the. the oh, there down. we go. Yes, yeah, yeah. the. <laughs> Excellent. I, love yeah, I, I locked it, so it won't go in the back. Oh, so, wonderful. Okay. Is uh, everybody through with upkeep? Yep. I think so, yeah. Okay, then, because we are now going, going, yeah, now going to advance, so uh, just want to make sure already. So, uh, Dex, don't forget to get you. Oh, you got it. Excellent. And it is the Spectre of Death, a force from beyond. Uh, do you want me to read everything that's on it? It's a, it's a big, scary enemy. It's got 20 HP. Uh, it has alert before alert was a thing. And it spawns at the starting location, which, coincidentally, I'm at. Oh, oh wow. No, that Big, was intentional. Scary oh, enemy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was completely intentional. I want to evade it so that everybody else doesn't have to deal with it for a bit. That's uh, kind of the plan here. That. I figured good, as much. Uh, Leo, can you go ahead and draw your encounter cards? Oh, there's a new agenda. It doesn't have any special rules. Next Nothing. Now. We just have 12 Doom to win the scenario. 12 Doom. Oh, we got plenty of time, right? Final last words. Let's go. <laughs> Says uh, Catacombs Docent, nearest unrevealed location. So, nearest, let's pick above. Sure. Okay. Sounds good. Who's next? Dexter. Okay, pulling my encounter card. Oops, sorry. And I have a corpse dweller. Oh, so that Docent that just came out <laughs> transforms into this. Disgusting what creature. Is it, what is it actually? Fey? Is it? Oh, it's just any location. Because you can also, yeah. I think, hit the ghoul. I don't think any of these other enemies are humanoids. So yeah, um, the ghouls are humanoids. So you can choose one of the humanoid enemies. Uh, I'd rather it near me than near men. Um, so yeah, give it yeah, to this guy because so. otherwise he'll hunt men. And... I okay. I would rather not be hunted. Just if it's all the same to everybody. Right. Thank you. Okay, and then I draw a mine counter card, and it is Alrighty. another obscuring fog. Stella, oh, the so master cool. of obscuring fogs. Well, <laughs> You've yeah, done cool. all of them. Yeah. At least this one doesn't hurt as much. Uh... Uh, no, and Min is the master of ghouls. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, that's exciting. All right. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So we're going to the investigator investigator phase now. Yeah. Investigator uh, face secure min. Why don't you do this? Uh, use your shortcut. You don't need to be unengaged, right? Yeah, use your shortcut to move for free to me, and I'll engage and kill that ghoul for you. Sounds good to me. So definitely go before me. All right. So... Are you just going to thank the uh, the corpse dweller? I'll take one hit for it. I'll tank the one hit, and then I'll kill it the following round. All right. Um, and I'll. Shall I try to evade it on here? Yeah, and then no, that way right. you can move back. Hold on, I think the plan was for Leo to go first, right? No, no, she that moves, means... and then I'll engage it and kill it. But you can use shortcut outside of your turn, so you could, uh, she, you could take it off turn, and she can take her turn normally. That's a but very, very actually... good point. Yeah, that's. Thank you. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, so I'll go first, and I'll just yeah, engage it. Sure. Sounds good. Thank you. Um, and then I don't get the resource from Lone Wolf, uh, but uh, engage it. Action one, and then. Action two, we're gonna machete its face. This time it's against a two, five, two, two. Um, I got nothing else. Well, yeah, yeah, we'll just do a five, two, two. Here we go. Action okay. two, minus one. So he's dead. Fantastic. Machete all the way. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we're gonna investigate. Um, no, you know what? We'll intel report. I'll spend four resources. No, there's only a, a shroud of two, isn't it? I won't intel report. I will actually just use well prepared to investigate at a five to a two. Um, zero. So I get a clue. All right, Great. that is my turn. All right. Uh, and now you, you're going to want to move out of there. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I'll move back here um, and then just investigate twice. Uh, I'm going to drop my magnifying glass for as a fast action because I like my magnifying glass. It doesn't cost anything. Um, 
So again, that's giving me plus one. So I'm pulling five on two and that's one and just one. Alrighty. That's it for me. Thank you very much. Nice. Nope. Thank you, Game Master. I have a question for Dexter, which is kind of important. Uh, this Mulford skeleton is going to hunt. Uh, are you going to be where you are at the end of your turn? I uh, am happy to jump in there and evade it. Okay. Then, actually, why don't you go first? Uh, I mean, Sounds good. I think I, can, I think I can handle this thing for a bit. Let me start off with Arcane Initiate to get that done. Um, and that is any spell. So I will take that Rite of Seeking. Thank you. Uh, kind of sad that I'm not getting the Word of Protection. But... Shuffle that back up. I will I think leaving a clue would be a bad idea in this particular case because I'm not likely to come back and grab it. So I'll just spend the two actions. Or no, I'll spend a har. Cuz I need an action to evade or I want the extra action to evade. Um Are you taking it over on yourself or on the initiate? Uh... Oh, the initiate. Thank you. Good call. Um, that brings the malformed skeleton to me, who I will attempt to evade with suggestion. And it's a one, so I think I am going to chuck a quick thinking at this so that hopefully I can get an additional action off of him. So I'm testing it way too much. And I pull. No tentacle. Are you oh. kidding me? Oh my god. And it's the seventh one. <laughs> yeah. okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a, that's a thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> so let me... Uh, oof, I will just pull... Straight up. I don't even think I have... Keep in mind that yeah. the uh, suggestion also loses a charge if you fail. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. Um, he says, thank you very much, and then whispers under his breath. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess I'm pulling straight up. So this is two on one. Well, at least... Okay, then. Nice. Hey, the that's the first the other side of the game. <laughs> um, well, okay. I can return Just for that. that I will uh, make a an elder side counter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh boy, I don't even know who I would pull back <laughs> if I would pull something back. Why don't you use your oh. cigarette case first, uh, and then... It's an optional yeah. thing, you don't have to pull it back, you still get the card. Draw. Ah, perfect. Yeah. So I will just take the card draw, and I will use the lucky cigarette case. Yeah, so you don't uh, have to perfect. take a card to draw a card. Thank you very much. Hey, you got another open gate. That's pretty good. Yep. And you evaded the uh, skeleton, so I didn't yes, have to come I over know. and that get myself nice. killed, which is nice. Uh, it's me, right? It is. Uh, yep, I think so, okay. yeah. Well, well, the awkward thing is, we now have an Elder Shine counter and an Outer Fill counter, but my Elder Shine is an Outer Fill, so uh, <laughs> it's gonna get awkward when those things start interacting, but okay. The Spectre of Death, killing Internet. it is not gonna work, so I'm just gonna evade it uh, forever and ever and ever and ever. Uh, first action, evade. Not even afraid of anything. Uh, minus two. That succeeds by... Or that succeeds. So, no worries. And now things get a little interesting. Because in a perfect world, I would run somewhere where I'm not being a problem for anyone. The 
The question is, where is that? Uh, Min, how many clues do you have? Only one. I only have one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to see if there's some way for me to open up a location right now. Because mm. I can move an extra location thanks to my track shoes. Uh, if I'm thinking maybe I go say hello to Leo Anderson. Because I could go into the uh, into the shivering pools, but I don't think that actually helps anybody. So yeah, I'll, I'll uh, move over to Mint's location, All right. and I will then exhaust track shoes and try to get an extra move. So this is an agility three test, and if I pass, I have to move. I do pass. Would have actually not minded failing there, but whatever. Uh, then I'm going to third action, hope to fail. Uh, can everybody just chant for that auto fail? Because I really need it right now. So I'm <laughs> testing against shroud of two. Fail. Oh, I don't have the money. Wait, no, I don't have the money. Stop the chanting. <laughs> I'm on research short of what I wanted to do. I have a look what I found, which is why I wanted to fill here, but unfortunately, oh, that's not going to work. Oh, no, we've made a huge mistake. Okay, well, we're still going to investigate. We're just going to draw a plus one, get a clue the old-fashioned way, and uh, I guess I'm just going to infect Leo. Sorry, Leo. Darn it. Yeah, and it and my lone wolf. God, Stella, you're just a problem. I can I can I can leave before the next before the next round and give you your lone wolf's resource. Get Don't out of here, me. Stella. Gosh. I will. I <laughs> we we've been very careful about not being around each other since our face masks failed. Very, very careful about Stella's that. name should change to Karen. Yeah, just a quick yeah. check. Use us to wear your face mask. On your turn, right? Uh yes you can. Cool. I'm just gonna mill out my arcane initiate and put a different one in. So I think uh, Leo forgot to remove the face mask for quite a long time. Oh, so I'll just my apologies. I thought I thought you had done that. I didn't even notice oh, okay. it. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sorry. I put Leo. the blame on the game master. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> right. right. yeah. Uh, do you want me to? No, you're gonna take care of the corpse cellar, right? Or do you need me to do it? Because we're going to enemy phase, I believe. Everybody's gone. Yeah. Uh, yep. I think so. Okay. So the uh, Spectre of Death readies up. Uh, just, <laughs> just as a heads up, uh, Dexter, you might want to get out of there. Yep. Because it's uh, it's pretty close. Oh, I also realized. Sorry, I left the uh, location with the Spirit Torment. I should have taken a whore. Mm. Hopefully, YouTube has not caught me on it. I'll check the chat room. <laughs> they will a year from now. Uh, so. <laughs> Such such is how it goes. Trust yeah. me. Oh, okay. Uh, you take the attack there, and uh, we draw yeah. cards. So we'll give the cat one and one, and then I'll take one. I mean, if there's anything they're going to do, is they're just going to call out all my terrible plays. <laughs> anyway, no, we'll uh, do that for all of us. Don't worry about it. Uh, so are we going to miss the Oh, yeah, upkeep. Sorry, we have to uh, yeah, we've done upkeep. check for uh, Leo and myself. <laughs> yeah. My mask is still oh. intact for now, but... Fingers crossed. So after the upkeep infection phase, uh, Stella's face mask gets. Uh, Stella, what do you draw on your upkeep? And Leo takes one horror. I a second uh, fight or flight. Okay, cool. All right. Which is my plan for when the things get troublesome. I take a horror. Okay. Yeah, from social distancing and. That's it. You can go to the missile space then. Okay, first right. doom on the agenda. So we have a limit of 12. Leo and Connacord. Go ahead, Leo. Here we go. I was just showing the doom on the agenda to the audience. Oh, cool. Uh, oh, God, again, the shadow behind you. Oh, boy. Wow. Well, that's unfortunate, but okay. Yeah. So it goes. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Well, I need to get out of here anyway. Yeah. Oh, below. the pit below. Oh well. And for me, a cut chill. That's actually kind of annoying here. Yeah. Uh, Go well, four v four. I'm going to. I'm not going to use her for anything else. I will commit this granny orn. I have a second one. And I draw a minus one, so I pass. Great. All right. I've like got. I uh, catacombs docent. Near some where, do we, where do we want to put him? Uh, what gives you plus one? To, oh yeah, it Granny right gives here? you. Plus one. Oh yeah. Uh, what's uh, what's our thought? It's the nearest, right? And you're. It's at... the nearest, yeah. So it's got to be here. Got to be here. Yeah. There we go. 
Okay. Yeah. Uh, if nobody else has anything that needs to go first, I would like to go first. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm just sure. happy I didn't pull a ghoul. Um, yeah, real quick, I JP, think... on this card, I recommend when you add things to the scenario, add flavor text to it. So when you look behind yeah. you, 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 the flavor text says, is he wearing a mask? That way it's yeah. more. <laughs> That's a great yeah, call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm just going to investigate. Uh, I draw a negative one, which I actually pass. How many clues do you have? Uh... I have two, I believe. Okay, yeah. I think I'm gonna yeah. get. I'm gonna try one more time to see if I can look what I found here. And... I'm making the audience dizzy with the camera changes. Sorry, guys, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> hey! Okay, uh, I drew, I drew Elder Shine, so we can up the Elder Shine counter, and I guess I'm also going to make it an automatic failure, um, because what <laughs> Salas Elder Shine does is it's a plus one, or you can choose to automatically fail, so that counts as skill value being zero. Uh, but then I get the heal, a damage, and a horror. Right now it's only a horror, but because so I fail. Or... For the purpose of the counter, you pulled an elder sign, not the yeah. yeah, yeah, I would yeah, say I, I would say that's that. kind of cheating. <laughs> the counter. Yeah, that's kind of cheating. It's <laughs> not very clear. Yeah, take very serious. Uh, but that does yeah. mean that because I um, failed by two or less, because the shroud is only two, uh, I get to play. Look what I found. So I get so to get pick up point. another two clues. Yeah. Yep. I then all. I'm oh, sorry. Tabletop simulator is lagging a bit. I also get to draw a card with rabbit's foot, and I also get an extra action. And you can now see why I choose to autofill, even though, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I could have just succeeded. Uh, are you fine if I just use all four of my own clues and don't use any of yours? Do uh, it. Do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Go up or to the right or to the bottom. What do we want to do? Um. Go up. I think we want to keep it kind of. Yeah. Yeah. As that's to closer as, as possible. Yeah. Because if I could say I go to the right and then I get a location to the bottom of that, then it just starts getting out of control. I found, oh boy, the well, to, well of souls and the surfing pools are right next to each other. That's not great. <laughs> um, so when I end my turn here, I have to either discard two random cards or take a direct horror. And then I get a location. Uh, put it to the top of me, please. Yep. Uh, however, I'm also going to then uh, trigger track shoot because I did move. And, oh. Uh, that's actually a good question. How many locations am I away from the starting location? One, two, oh, one, three. Two, three. Yeah, so minus three. minus three, which I would normally fail because I'm at a five and I need to hit a three, but I can use Granny Orn to give myself plus one. So I pass. I'll go over here. I'll go oh, say hello to the goal. Yeah, with this gun. So I'll spend an ammo of the Derringer. Or actually, yeah, spend an ammo of the Derringer. I get plus two combat for this shot. Uh, oh, I hit. I killed the ghoul. It's a fewer problem to deal with. Uh, if I stay here, I have to do what? Lose resources? I don't have any of those. Or, one or take direct damage. Damage, uh, yeah. I'll just draw a card for my last action. Alright. And that's my turn. Go ahead. I'll take a direct damage at the end of my turn. Okay. Min, do you want to go next? Sure. I think I'm just going to be investigating here. Uh, it's always nice to have more clues, so... Yeah, I'll just try to clear this location if I can. Um, and it's two, so I'm one up. Or sorry, three. Yeah, three up with the magnifying glass. Um, just a heads up, if you stay at that location at the end of your turn, you will get hunted. That is a fair point. Um, I probably will need to shortcut at the end of my turn. Uh, where are you planning on moving, Dexter? Yeah, I can... Leo? No, I got an enemy on me and I got the shadow oh, behind yeah, me. Oh, yeah, Okay. Um... Do you have any enemies on you now? No, I'm... Why don't you I'm shortcut here... for free and then to where I'm at, grab two clues and then we can use four to reveal. Sounds good. Alright. Yeah, it's only two shroud up there, so I'll do that. Uh, shortcut and then I'll search twice. Um, is the skull? This one minus two, two away, it looks like. Know. Yeah, so yeah, I should be fine. So I got one clue for that. All right. So we have enough clues. We can move to the. Are you grabbing the other one too? Uh, yeah. It seems like. Yeah, okay. might as well. Yeah. Makes sense. All right. Uh, do you want to go to the bottom or to the right? Because. Um. Let's try going to the bottom. Let's see what's down there. So yeah, I'll move down there for my third action. Uh, 
Okay, so it's the stone archway. So okay. we put one location to the right of it, and mm. you don't we have to enter. pay for it. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. yeah so That's I can now really enter nice. this one or this, this one. Now the first uh, car, uh, catacombs location from the bottom, uh, five. bottom five. So I'll yeah. just mark it with a horror, so you know that this I... could already be the uh, location you're seeking. Great. Cool. Good. Thank you. All right. And that's your turn, man. And that's that's my turn. Thank All right. So much. I do gain a resource from Lone Wolf. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I'm gonna lose resources this round, or which I don't want to. So I'd have to use this ability. All I right. Don't mind. <clears throat> What's up? Dynamite him? <laughs> yeah, but I'll take three damage. That's pretty pretty rough. Uh yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna machete the guy. Um yeah. so f against a three, I got a five to a three. Hmm. As if I don't don't remember correctly, but Dynamite Blast also is like a attack of opportunity, right? It is, yeah. Yeah, so that's <clears throat> super nasty. And Leo, I have to use his ability at the beginning of my turn. Oh, it doesn't take an action. Oh, sweet. Okay. Actually. Dude, that's pretty good. I haven't played Leo in a while. <laughs> so, three resources. I'll play Venture. And then, um... I will... I don't know if you've told the people at home, but you have uh, Charisma and Mitch also gives you an extra ally slot, so you don't have to worry about that uh, yep. at the moment. Yeah, I have two Charismas. That's why I have so many. And Mitch, like you said. Um, Alright, anyways. Uh, Alright, let's machete this guy. I, I do mind losing Intel Report, but because of Lone Wolf, I wouldn't mind losing the resources from this this round. So that's not that's why I'm just going to go at this guy. Full on. Let's do it. Uh, action 1. Machete face. Says yes. 2 damage. Round 2. Action 2. Machete face. Minus 3. That's a fail. That is a fail. Uh, okay. Um... Retaliate, uh... Oh, he does yeah. retaliate. Oh, that's okay. Mm. All right, so he'll deal two in a horror. Bye bye, Venture. <laughs> <laughs> nice Can you clean those up for me, JP? Uh, sure. Thanks. Um, all right, uh, well prepared, tapping Mitch for two wild icons. So seven to a three. Take that, corpse dweller. Machete face. Zero. Okay. Two more damage. I'll kill him next round. And I think that does it for the... Oh, I think nope. Dexter still has to go. Uh, oh, gone. Dexter, you yeah. haven't gone yet? Nope. Mm. No, I, I haven't gotten rid of this malformed skeleton. And you got that um, on you. Ouch. So, first thing I'm going to do is uh, try to evade this malformed skeleton. And I will pull... As normal, so that's seven on one. Thank you. Not a tentacle. <laughs> really, all I care about at this point is can it not be a tentacle? <laughs> yeah. Despite it being a spell, there's no special effects when you draw a skill, so no worries there. Yeah. So I will move over one, and then on, I think that my safest play... Uh, Yep, we don't have the clues for me to go anywhere else, so I think this is where yeah. I should head. Makes uh, sense. I'll take That's the direct horror. Do you okay. want to draw a card with a cigarette case? So that would put me at eight, and then... Oh, okay. Uh, um, the you know what? Yeah, I could draw the card with cigarette case because I'm going to cheat out, or cheat out something, and okay. replace yeah. my arcane initiate. Very yes, bad. I will. I will cheat out this <laughs> shriveling so I can finally fight. Yay. Awesome. Okay, let's go. All right. <laughs> so, uh, that's the investigation okay. phase. So, enemies. Um, yeah. I think the only yeah. enemy is uh, the corpse dweller hitting oh, Leo. There don't and the uh, scuff. Oh, this hunts. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. Uh, move him up uh, one. Yeah. Yeah. Because I believe I'm the nearest investigator, and 
<laughs> I'm just gonna run away. Yeah. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Seems like a good thing to do. Alright. Oh, wait, what did I do here? We go to upkeep. Be... Uh, you're still alive over there, Leo? Yeah. Alright. I'm well, still good. Starting to get a little worried, but. No, oh, I'm fine. And now, if I roll direct uh, harder, then I'm screwed, but... <laughs> yeah, I uh, drew uh, weakness, 13th vision, so everybody at my location fails dies uh, on skill tests. But uh, since we're social distancing, that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Please stay away from me. I guess it's a problem for me, but I want to fill tests anyway, so... Yeah. Uh, is everybody through through their upkeep? Can we? No, um, hold on, this was lagging a little bit. I couldn't show the other cards okay. I drew. i um, going to draw mine real quick. And I got Ooh, a 45. Did, nice. Does right. it help at all if we uh, sort of just say oh, wait, what uh, we drew? Or? Uh, I forgot to do this at the end of my turn. Okay. Um, yeah, that would help. Yeah, if you say what you drew. Yeah, sure. So I lost all my yeah. resources due to the shadow behind me. And then uh, that was at the end of my turn. So I do get a resource now. All right. So I pulled a Mind Over Matter. And that's the um, card that allows me to, until the end of the round use um, the uh, investigate skill whose name I can't remember right now instead of fu uh, fight or evade yep. um, which um, is quite great intellect I believe you're looking for intellect yes that's the word thanks oh, yeah so it's uh, willpower <laughs> more... intellect, combat or yeah. I think is it combat In or... no, I'm trying to doubt myself maybe it is combat I don't remember. Um, in, our, oh, yeah. in our more casual games, we refer to things as, as book. Yeah, um, and fist. <laughs> and foot. All the time. Yeah, all the time. exactly. <laughs> uh, but then everybody has gone through uh, yep. upkeep, right? So we can go to the yeah. Let's do Second it. Second Doom. Actually, checking yeah, all the Doom from Dex has also gone. And then, uh, well, Leo, uh, let's uh, hope that it goes well for you. Yeah, yeah, I'll kill this guy this round. It's Unless I roll three auto fails. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> or you don't, and then we die. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Uh, right, bad do cards, and it is a ravenous school. Okay, right, not yeah. too bad. All I'm right. okay with that. All right. Machete now only does one damage, but uh, yeah, it, 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 after I kill the one guy, it'll do two, so it'll be fine. Yeah, so that's good. All right. And I got a corpse dweller. Mm. Oh boy, am I glad I got that shriveling out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, replaces one of the humanoids here. So oh, yes, yes. either this catacombs docent or the this catacombs docent. Yeah, let's do the docent because I need a round yeah. after I kill. No, if you really want to kill Leo, now's your chance. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe let's not. Uh, COVID will kill Leo. Don't worry about that. Uh, he's, actually, he's... I have a question. The encounter deck just emptied out, so I believe the docent should be in the new discard pile. Is that correct? Uh, it. Yeah. yeah. Because you Actually. immediately reshuffle the encounter deck as soon as it is emptied, so... Yep. Yeah, good oh, call. I mean, it's not a huge difference, but uh, it can come up. Well, I also yeah. have the shadow behind me. Hey, we're friends. Shadow friends. Shadow friends. And then, Alrighty. And pit below. Oh, it's, it's a pit below. I mean, you're yeah, still right? I, I yeah. believe anyway, yeah. Oh, and this pit below has already... Gone. If it's uh, all the same to everybody else, I would like to go first. Do it. Please, go ahead. Uh, I was, my plan was to go into the uh, catacombs with the Corpse Feller in it and try to evade him. Because we can go in here for free. Because of the archway that Min is at. And then Min can go mm -hmm. to the right and figure that stuff out. Yeah. Uh, so first action, I'm going to move. I also want to get away from the Spectre. That's also, you know, not irrelevant. <laughs> uh, I'm going to test Agility 3 to try and get a second move. I draw a negative 4. So I super fill, uh, get an extra action, draw a card, draw a card, or, uh, yeah, that, that's it. But uh, I'm assuming nobody else is going to need to shortcut this turn. So go. I'm just going to use it and move in here. Yeah. And I found, ooh, that's a lot of clues. Oh, wow. Hello. The candlelit tunnels, which are three shrouds. And I can test Intellect 3 to read an ancient sign. If we succeed, we can look at the other side of a catacomb. So we don't get to reveal it. Um, but we do get to look at it. It also lets me put in two more uh, locations, but they only go to the left and right, which are already occupied. Uh, I would say if we're able to use the ability, we could w look at this one and see if it's where we need to go. The thing is, and I think that we can get into here free, so... Yeah, oh, we can... Uh, no, in, uh, 
it reads look at the unrevealed side, but it has been errated that if you look at the revealed side. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, that the makes sense. Thing is, I think, yeah. I think Min is going to go here anyway, because it's... Yeah, I was going to go over going, here. So oh, because of the pit, yeah. 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 Well, and, and also because it's free, so we shouldn't waste yeah. a, a There's also There's also no, no clues at my location, so heading to somewhere where there might be clues just seems like a good plan. Yeah. Anyway, back to yeah. my turn. Uh, yeah. I'm going to try to evade. Uh, second action. Uh, I am at agility 5 because of the track shoot, and then fix 7 because of manual dexterity, uh, which puts me at 3 over. However, I do fail on ties, so I'm starting to wonder if I maybe should put in a little bit more. No, I'll try to this. Negative 1. Excellent. Uh, the entire board just gets rearranged while I'm not looking. Yeah, so I just evade. fight it up. Yeah. Left, so you have Magic! Yeah, <laughs> Everything that's... moved over. Yeah. Magic. This, this, uh, this, this map does have that issue sometimes. Um, let's see. We have a hunter enemy over here. We have a hunter enemy over here. Uh, map's getting really exciting, isn't it? Uh, what do you think I should do with my last two actions? Because uh, I could get try to get some clues here, but I'm probably not going to do very well at it. Uh, I could also just clear my weakness out, evade this guy when he gets back up, and then you know run over to wherever the rest of the team is. Yeah, that seems I like think a that's pretty solid plan. Yeah, yeah I okay. think the... I'm gonna spend two actions uh, clearing the 13th vision, and then at the end of my turn, I have not looked behind me. I will lose my one resource, and that's taken care of. Okay. Uh... I would like to go after you, Leo, in case you need someone to to shriveling something away. Yeah. Uh okay. Uh so I'll uh I'll go next then. Sounds so good. first action well, Lone Wolf goes off, I gain a resource. Um first action let's try to kill this guy. Uh so I'm gonna hit the face. Um uh, this time because he does retaliate, we'll use this for two more combat icons. Seven two three well, says I <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is not looking good. So he retaliates. He kills the cat. Um, so I do have an overpower. Uh, I'm a room away, but I think that's still going to trigger trigger um, the potential for infection. Um, um, for I combat, I think I'm okay. Over. It's just this okay. this retaliate and the auto fails. We're at eight now. Yeah. That's yeah, really brutal. Now. Uh, now I am in trouble. So let's see. The black cat takes one of the damage and the horror, so he dies. If you can get rid of those, please, Game Master. Uh, and I take the other damage. Um, yeah. I cannot miss this yeah. attack. So three. Yeah, yeah. Do you, time to do the math, uh, do you want? Do you want the overpower? Um, because of risk of infection, no. I I'm gonna use the Thompson. I think. Okay. Um, so I'll commit that for two more. So. Basically, that'll be uh, seven again. Right. Two, three, zero. Okay, so he does die. All right. All right. So that was two actions. Um, I am uh, in need of an ally ASAP. All right. Dynamite so lost. Dynamite lost. Dynamite lost. No. <laughs> right. <laughs> no. Kill myself <laughs> for a little ghoul. Um, all right. So I'll chop them up. Uh, machete face. So five, two, three. For two damage, minus two, that's a fail. Jesus Christ. All right, that was a horrendous round for me. Uh, okay, uh, Dexter, I will take your uh, offer of shriveling this thing. Yep, so let me move down there. Um, I am going to lead off with first shriveling. Well, you, oh, hold on. If you're not going to engage him, I'd rather not, because then I, I will be in trouble. Uh, then, yeah, I'll engage him. Okay. Because if you, if you miss, I'm taking two damage. That's going to put me at yeah. pretty much one away. Do you want to shrivel him or evade him? Because he does have three health. Yeah, so. good point. I'll invade him then. Okay. Yeah. Um. So one, two, and three to evade. And that's three against... You're at eight, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So, so you should succeed by two. Succeed by yep. two, I think. Yeah. yeah. So... Yep, let's uh, put him down exhausted. Okay, good. Buys us around. Yeah. Okay. Um, Alright. So... Hold on, do you have one action left, Dexter? Or... 
Oh no, wait, you uh, moved and then engage. Move, and then, and then, uh, and then, move yeah, engage, okay. evade. I will... Uh, I'm gonna get or remove my lucky cigarette case to cheat out David Renfield. Alright. And he does not yet have a horror on him. I will gain a resource off of that. Alrighty. Because we've got plenty of time. So for the people at home, yeah. can you remind them yeah. how Renfield works? So David Renfield, while he has at least one Doom on him, I gain an additional uh, willpower. Um, and as a fast action, I can exhaust David Renfield, place a Doom on him, and gain a resource for each Doom on David Renfield. Alrighty. Pretty, pretty um, cool. So I'm just so, going to go ahead. Oh, all right, Minister. Yeah. Go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to spend two resources for a laboratory assistant, uh, and what they do is they allow me to um, have, uh, when we check our hand size during upkeep, I have an additional uh, two, like plus two to that hand size, and when they're first brought out, I get an additional two cards, which is always nice. So I have quite the hand right now, which wow. is great, because I think I'm going to wander into the unknown for my second action. So I'll go over here, and we'll see what's there. Oh my, all right. Oh, there we are. And now we're advancing. Nice. <clears throat> so. I think the, uh, <laughs> big, several people breath, just stepped away. Big relief. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, basically you can skip the text on the uh, story side, but uh, you spawn the man in the Pelican's weakness into the Tomb of Shadows uh, in the, instead of its normal location, and then you check campaign log. If Ishimaru Haruko is not listed under VIP slain and we are playing standalone, so she is not. Uh, she yep. spawns in the Gates of Hell Just set it up here. So, Man in the Pallet Mask comes into play here. Uh, he's a Luf. Also, while at the Tomb of Shadows, uh, he gains plus one health per investigator, so he is seven health. Yeah. And uh, as we are playing uh, Return to the Pallet Mask, there is a errata for this that you cannot move the Man in the Pallet Mask out of the Tomb of Shadows. Okay. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that is actually what, what we missed when we were playtesting the scenario. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. Um, here. And if I'm not mistaken, he also cannot be defeated by his normal investigator ability. Yeah. So you can only. Uh, okay. So you have two options. You have mm. objective. Tell, tell us how to stop this pandemic. Uh, I haven't upgraded the cars, but that what it's gonna read okay uh, if the man in the pallet mass is defeated advance or uh, what is he trying to show us and uh, investigators in the tomb of shadows may spend the requires number of clues as a group to advance and the clue threshold is eight okay so you have two options um, so uh, what's the, the check for the um, getting him to, to tell us how to stop the uh, the thing? Uh, you have to defeat the man in the pallet mask, so you okay. have to deal seven damage to it. Yeah, that's that's not a thing I'm going to be able to do. It's a good thing he's aloof. Is he still aloof? Yeah, yeah, he's still Excellent. aloof. And, uh, you know what, I think, I'll, I think I'll look for some clues then. Um, that's probably the, the best use of min right now. Um, don't have a deduction, which is unfortunate. Um, so as a fast action, I'll drop my magnifying glass. Um, that puts me at one down. Um, so I'll play. Um, in if, are you are you looking to stay at that location? Um, I'm kind of thinking about it could i i don't know if i could move hmm. 
Like, why do you ask? Wait, uh... Yeah, why why do you ask? Um, I can go and defeat him eventually, I guess. But I mean, it, you have a round, I guess, to to decide. So yeah. don't don't worry about that right now, I guess. Yeah. Also, me... if uh, Min investigates and then draws a card, and she'll forget to just draw a card, so it's like not that bad if even if she doesn't sure. do much uh, otherwise. And we just need clues to get locations anyway. So yeah, exactly. definitely. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So I I'm. To draw your card with, uh, a little yeah. Oh. I I am three up right now. Three, four. Well, it's a negative four. So negative four. are you only three? No, no. Hold on. Yeah. Because inquiring mind is plus four with your ability, yeah, or have you used four with my ability? And right. You have magnifying glass, so you should be at nine versus four, and you got Except a minus four. It's, it's not four yeah. because yeah. the um the man in the pallid mask gives plus two shroud. Yeah, but you're no, not escaping him. Yeah. Oh right. Okay. Okay. I see. I see. I thought it because was the can... location. Yeah. So no, that no, no. that is a pass then. Nice. Great. All right. So, so I've got that clue. Uh, and that's. I think that. Yeah. Turn. Uh, yeah. Uh, I played the... Yeah. Okay. We go to enemy phase. We have uh two hundred enemies. Actually, we have three hundred enemies, don't we? Because uh, Ishimaru also just uh, came in. Um, yep. Why don't you move her to the or down one? I will just be right back again. And okay. then move the. I mean, we could split them up, but I think it's actually better to keep them together. Yeah. Uh, do they, they're easier to kite right away. Because that way we might be able to kite them up a bit. I don't yeah. know. Uh, we could also move them back to the starting location, which is maybe a better idea for now. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a good put idea. Over there. Yeah, put them over there. So both of these, all both of hunters, so they both go. And um, I'll take this ghoul. Okay, and I'll take the, uh, well, we're going into upkeep then. I'll take the Malford skeleton, or the corpse dweller again. And the pit goes away. And in the Our upkeep. Oh, yeah, Dexter and... Uh... Yeah, so Dexter and Leo are too close, so... Let's see, uh, well, Leo takes a uh, horror for social distancing. So Dexter falls asleep, it looks like. Okay. <laughs> Got narcolepsy. And also, uh, Dexter's face, Mac, is starting um, to crumble. I mean, it's a good time to have broke social distancing guidelines when I was about to take a nap. <laughs> yep. Just okay. going to need to uh, uh, Leo punch you in the face and then uh, we're all good. Yeah. So infection phase is in, has ended. So Leo took one horror from social distancing and uh, one charge was removed from the face mask of Dexter. So you can go to the next mythos. Yeah, we'll go to the mythos phase or third. Three doom? And then it's, well, four with the uh, David with to play, the, but I'm yeah. assuming he's not going to be. It's a another docent. He goes to uh, right of you, yeah. I think. Okay. Sorry, what was that? Yeah. Yeah, this is the closest unrevealed, so it goes All right. here. Uh, okay, and another I got another one. Okay, so that oh, also at the same, same place. Uh, also same location. Same. Yep. Yeah, yep. they do not. Uh, they just start chatting with each other again. <laughs> yeah. And then mine is going to be grasping hands agility test. Grasping. Whatever. Whatever shall I do? Sorry, my cards are all. Agility, minus... Okay, so I pass. Uh, sorry, it's a minus two. I have a agility five because of the trench shoot, I should. Yeah. Yep. Also, are we still doing the what cards we drew in upkeep? I drew a uh, Derringer. Uh, Dexter drew Narcolepsy and fell asleep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I drew Hot Streak and uh, then... I mean, do, do un Unexpected Charge. Yep. Um, just come back. It's always nice to hear that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're, uh, you're up, by the way. Uh, it's your Great. encounter draw. So, oh, all right. Uh, Thank you very much. No worries. And it's the uh, crew too. Exciting. All right. Um, I think I'll give myself a card for this. Why not? Um, yeah, I'm going to commit guts. Um, so, so it gives me. Draw a card right now with mind, I think. Because it's exhausted, but I don't think it oh, should yeah. be. Right. Yeah, no, it shouldn't be. Um, all right, so I'll draw a card right now, and then I'm pulling at three up for this. Nice. Perfect. So another card from the guts. Yeah, let me just discard that first. There we go. 
And uh, let me go wash her hands. I do. I do need to go wash my hands. <laughs> I, I don't want to surprise anyone, but crypts are like catacombs, very dusty places. So it goes yeah. in your threat yeah. area. If you yeah. take one or more damage, take one direct heart. It takes two actions to wash your hands. Yeah. Fun times. You want a good, good, what, 40 seconds? 30, 40 seconds. All right. Uh, that is. Investigator phase, I believe. We're yeah. going to have to figure out uh, who goes first because we do want somebody to wake up Dexter before the end of the round. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, gosh, yeah. I could, I could I, probably... I could kill yeah, this and then wake him up, but that'll take all my actions. Assuming I don't pull an auto fail, which, at this rate, you know, <laughs> if that if that does happen, I think I'll I'll be able to maybe uh, help out because there's this shortcut still that I could use to run over mm -hmm. to you. Yeah. So should I go first then to do that? Yeah, you go first. See how that plays if you, if I don't out. Have to get to get to your location, and I obviously don't want to because of social distancing. Yeah. So lone wolf doesn't fire off, and then I will. Machete the school's face. Um, we'll use the well prepared with Mitch. So we got a seven to a three. And that's a skull, which is a minus four. So he takes damage, two no, damage. Well, minus, minus two right now. Minus two. Oh, well, minus two. Yeah. So he takes two damage. Yeah. And then um, going five to a three. And. And uh, another minus two. So the ghoul is dead. Hey. All right, so he's dead. So then, final action, I do wake, uh, up. wake up Dexter. Dexter. Excellent. Side of the blade, please, when you slap me. Side <laughs> of the blade. Right. <laughs> you have to go into your own Discord file, not the encounter Discord file. It, it happens all the time. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, that that is good advice. Uh, yeah. Do you want to go next, Dexter? Uh, sure. Um, and I have social distancing, I'm kind of wondering who goes where, uh, so I'll let you mm -hmm. go because I can move around easier anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what? Um, I think I could actually do with just getting some of the cards out of my hands, so I can move one down into here. Mm -hmm. um, I will spend two, three, four resources for the right of seeking. I'm sorry. No, I will not. I will spend four resources for the Book of Shadows. I will use David Renfield as a fast action, gaining two and putting two Doom Tokens on. So we're currently at five. Let me know, and I'll cheat him away so that we don't have to deal with the, the repercussions of my actions. <laughs> and then I will spend another four resources to drop that Rite of Seeking. And could you so tell the lovely people up. watching what the uh, Book of Shadows does? Yes, uh, I have an additional arcane slot, and I can spend an action, exhaust Book of Shadows, to add a charge to a spell asset I control. And then right is seeking. Yeah, just gets you investigating with willpower. Uh, yep. yep. You have the upgraded version, which gives you more willpower yeah. as well. But if you yes, draw bad also... symbols, you lose all your actions. Oh, right, that's pretty nasty. So don't yeah. draw the auto pill. Uh, Dexter, are you done? <laughs> I am done. That's that's okay. great advice. Just don't yeah. don't an auto fail. Yeah, yeah, uh, you know. uh, Min, are you gonna go next or do uh, I go next? I'm I'm happy to go next. I think I'm I'm looking at just doing washing my hands and investigating. Um, I wasn't looking at doing anything more exciting than that. Uh, if you want, though, I can I can move around. If you want to come over to, I don't think like, the uh, could... four shroud location is. The place Stella wants to be with her two intellect, so you go ahead and uh, fair, fair, wash fair. your hands. All right, so I'm gonna wash my hands. This goes back into my discard pile. Um, so that's two actions, and then um, I'll just investigate. Um, and do I want to give myself anything? Yeah, I might. I might as well. Uh, I'm gonna give myself a laboratory assistant. Uh, yeah, I think. No, that puts me two up. Uh, sorry, three up. So I'll just go ahead with that. It's only oh. two up if you're, uh, you used your ability during the Mythos. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Doesn't make a difference yeah, in this game. Doesn't make true. a difference. So, yeah. yeah. Well, alrighty. Two shadow. It's too busy. Right. Your hands and. Uh... You know, to be fair, it's a very dark place. Yeah. And washing is really important. You get a song, song stuck in your head when you're washing your hands. You're like. You do <laughs> right. It's... Yeah. I was okay. drying my hands, and that's when I'm looking around, and I'm like, oh, I should look for a clue or something. 
Yeah. Yeah, actually the mythos must have all of them just long enough to wash your hands properly. Exactly. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, she was uh, saying yeah. I'm going to try... let's see, is it time for fight or flight yet? There is a 4 evade enemy only, which is not the best place to be. Mm. But I think I can manage without it first. So I'm gonna try to evade this corpse dweller. Nasty little bugger, and guess what? I do succeed. And now the question is, where do I go where I don't break social distancing rules and I don't have roughly 4 billion enemies attacking? <laughs> the answer to that question is, uh, good luck. Yeah, because these have bad effects of you in there. Yeah, but I do think I'm Five gonna have to... Groups here, so you could just jump here. Yeah. And eat, uh, but that would also mean not doing a lot, and I do like doing things, so... Yeah, that's true. Uh, I'll see what I can manage. I think first up... Uh, let's see... I just... yeah, it's not a... I, I'm only half tempted to run into the middle of all those enemies and just, you know, go go nuts, but let's not do that. Uh, I'm gonna move up one. I'm gonna try to investigate here. Uh, three versus two. Get plus one from Granny Orn. I draw a skull, which is a negative one, so I succeed. Hey, it's uh, free real estate, as they say. And I will then uh, shortcut myself over here. And I think, which one is this one? It does uh, direct horror. I'm okay with that. So I'm going to exhaust my track shoes and get a free move over here and my last action is going to be to play a uh, actually no i'm going to actually uh, investigate here so i'm three versus four I draw a negative one so i fail i'll get an extra action i draw a card uh it is a take heart that would have been useful a second ago uh which this is two random cards in hand or take a direct horror i'm just going to take the direct horror i'm going to play a old key ring and pass the turn and take a direct horror so the key ring okay, this fairly new sorry, card key, key ring is new card my apologies uh it is a one cost <laughs> asset um that has two keys on it and when there's no keys you discard it and you can investigate just like it's a flashlight but you only lose a key if you actually succeed so very importantly with Stella, if you want to do something like say play Look What I Found, which requires you to actually fill, um, this can you get more uses out of it. It's a pretty nice card. Uh, and I believe with that, that is the end of the investigator phase. If somebody so. has yeah. fast, we are going to get a whole bunch of enemies running mm -hmm. after us. And I think uh, these are both going to go here. Because and this one can go i think he can also oh wait no dexter's closer you're right yeah dexter's closer so yeah, yeah. Just hoping uh, right. hoping it go back up but yeah yeah no, enemies are closing in we're gonna have to do something uh let's go to upkeep phase i believe we are all socially distanced this round so that's good yep Ooh. so i just drew a close call i don't have the money for it right now which is a bit problem but close call is a fast card that whenever you evade a non-weakness non-elite enemy Oh, sorry, whenever any money at your location evades a non-weakness on elite enemy, we can shuffle them into the encounter deck. The bad news is that I believe that all the... Oh, wait, no, the skeleton the skeleton is not elite, so we could get rid of the skeleton. Otherwise, uh, it's mostly elite. I think it's time for Stella to start uh, showing off. <laughs> uh, but I believe first we have a Mythos phase, because I don't believe we are going to do any kind of uh, infection. Yep, so... so we go to 7 okay. Doom. Right now, thanks to uh, good old and what did, uh, other players draw. Oh, for six. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, what do you draw? I just got emergency cash, three resources, okay. and yep. quick and thinking. I pulled a quick thinking. And okay. overpower and for me. Yeah, I've got oh. overpower over here. Perfect. And then we go to the middle phase. I already put the doom on there, so we should. All right, here we go. No, All right. So. No, Pit even. below. <laughs> oh, yeah, so there's a lot of pits in this catacomb. Yeah. We should, yeah. we should write somebody and tell them to fix their pits. I don't know if OSHA applies here, but there's I think be it should. Maybe there's just the, be like the, the French government, like it's, it's right. probably a national monument of some sort. So I'm pretty sure it is. There's there's some beautiful art down there. I, mean, I do have to ask. I probably need to write it because Stella has intellect too. She probably can't write a very uh, Elegant letter in French. That's right. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, Dexter. Uh, oh, I have a friend. 
how nice for you. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a good sorry. friend. Oh, it's a little friend. There we go. Eyes on the walls. Uh, this is a kind of deal me horror if I fail it, but let's commit guts and let's not fail it. There we go. I draw Great. a card and ooh, another neither rain or snow. Which actually gonna probably come up in the next round. Already. Or the upcoming round. Oh, uh, and it's more. Cool. I have a friend. <laughs> okay. Um, I actually have a question. Okay. Can I go first? Because uh, my plan is going to be to try to deal with as many hunter enemies as I can this round. Uh, which means that basically, once I'm done, we have to figure out which hunter enemies are left standing, and you should probably try to evade those or get rid of those at least. Um, so if that's okay with everybody, I'll go first. Sounds good. Yeah, go ahead. I'll move here and then trigger track shoot. Actually, and before I. Sorry, my screen is warning me that's going to power off. And it's like, no, I'm playing a game right now. Please don't do that. Mm -hmm. uh, before I go any further, I'm going to play Fight or Flight. So this is a very important card in this deck. Um, it is fast and it is a one cost event. I play it during my turn to give myself plus X combat and plus X agility, where X is the amount of horror on me. Now, I've only taken three horror because I've been playing kind of conservatively, but it is very easy for Stella sometimes to just get like six horror on her and then she just never fills those tests mm -hmm. so now i'm testing at agility eight versus three so everything but the auto fell yep so we in here now engage with these two friendly friends uh and we're gonna have to start doing some interesting stuff here sorry my uh game is having some issues uh i'm gonna just start by evading the malformed skeleton and that is a success and now I have to actually make a choice because if I somehow manage to fail a test here, uh, I can do more stuff. But I don't think I'm in a position to actually set myself up for any kind of failure. Uh, plus, any kind of non attack or non uh, attack evade, whatever, would cause me to take an attack opportunity. So I'm just going to evade the Spectre of Death, which does have this uh, kind of alert effect. So if I fail, uh, I take a. Tech. I could actually use Neither Inner Snow to cancel that, but I'm not going to, and just count on the fact that I'm not drawing the auto fill, which I want. Okay, so those two are taken care of. Before I might actually no. Uh question, Dexter. Yep. Are you gonna be good to move out of this location where you are yeah. right now? Okay, then uh, I'm going to end my turn. And then before anybody else takes their turn, I'm going to shortcut myself over to the Shivering Pulse. Now, the reason I do it in that order is because once I end my turn, I would have to test or take a Shivering Pulse damage, but mm. I just end my turn and then move, and I don't have to take any damage. So go ahead, whoever wants to go next. These two enemies will not. Play. All right. Um, I'm. I think I'm gonna go next because I'm basically gonna go to Min's location. Sorry, Min. I gotta deal with the guy. So. Oh, with yeah, that guy. That's fine. Yeah. So I'll go yeah. next. Um. So let me okay. reset these. Well, I get a resource from Lone Wolf. I need allies really bad. Uh, also, um, I don't want to, you know, <laughs> but you do keep in mind that uh, I believe Min did draw a ghoul enemy, so I don't know if you can help with that. But uh, I got it. Okay. Well, sure. <laughs> I, I'll be able to help, but I, not this round. All right. I, so I most likely have it. It's okay. Action one, I'll move here. Action two, I'll move to Min's location, and then. So are uh, you saying that you have a plan? I have a plan. <laughs> and, and also some mind over matter, so I have a plan and some backup, is what I'm saying. All right, and so then I, um, I won't, uh, jinx anything, but uh, usually when somebody has a plan, you already jinx us with yeah. the auto fails in the beginning, <laughs> putting them in the bag. There's so many auto fails. That's why I have a backup. All right, okay. I'm gonna spend five resources for my final action and play right. hot streak, which will get me ten resources. Super mm -hmm. simple. So I'm at ten. And I can uh, dynamite the people that are going to hunt soon, if needed. All right, that's my turn. Who's right, next? Do you, do you mind if I go next, or do you want to go ahead, Dexter? Um, I can go ahead, because my turn should be relatively straightforward. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I think I actually move first, <laughs> even though I have the ghoul minion on me, just in case I fail that. Sh uh, oh, no, shriveling is, does not end my turn if I fail it. So I can take the shriveling test first. It's only right of seeking that ends my turn. So straight up with, so that's minus three, pulling on a six. So that is a pass. 
and does two damage is your to him. Shriveling upgraded, or is it the level zero version? Uh, this is the upgraded version. So you actually get another plus two willpower there. Yep. Thank you. Okay. All good. No, no, no. So yeah, eight on three. He is definitely toast. At that point, I can move up to here because I will not violate the social distancing protocols. Um. And you're gonna want to move again because that pit will hit you for three damage. If oh you don't. yeah, good point. Mm -hmm. Um. Yep. I will move again. There we go. And then I take at the end of my turn one direct heart. So I will spend three. Um. That's not three. Um, for I've got a plan, which is I believe still a fast action. Oh no, it's a it's a fight event. Um, so I'm going to be using book, um, yeah, to attack the glow minion, uh, and I'm going to give myself some unexpected courage as well, just just because. Um, so that is seven on two. Hey, and that's beautiful. And you can actually grab one of those cards back. Actually, yeah. the I think it's yeah. yeah. But you can't it's grab the other one because that's not committed. So exactly. Yeah, like, indeed. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, but I, I did so... commit one card, so I'll and level combined as well. Um, and the glow minion is quite dead because uh, part of I've got a plan is um, I do plus one damage. Um, for each clue that I have, and I had two clues. So it would do um, plus two damage, so three damage altogether, and the glow minion had two. So I'm pretty pretty chuffed about that. Um, I do actually so... have a question, Min, if I can interrupt real quick. Sure. Uh, I couldn't happen but notice that you have a cryptic research in your hands, and two. I think Leo really needs some card draw. So if you're not going to use that on yourself, maybe consider I... it's giving him. <laughs> I, I actually need to draw down a little bit. So, uh, yeah, Leo, why don't you have the cryptic research? Oh, thank you so much. Because, yeah, if I, if I get a, an ally, that would really help. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So this is a false card didn't. that lets Leo or anybody at your location draw three cards. Well, you're, you yeah. drew three cards, so you're three cards closer to the next ally. True. Deck, at least. Good point. Yeah. Uh, so... Sorry, I'll stop interrupting yeah. now. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Um, I didn't expect that to go as well as it did. Uh, so I definitely want to move out of here, but I think I want to look for a clue first uh, because I'm still one up on this test. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to use the... Where do you want to go? Because if you go to the, the halls, you're going to get attacked by... 200 enemies if you go up you're gonna get detected by the docent so i think you should stay where you are yeah yeah all right well i mean we're i think we're gonna have to chance it there leo uh I'm yeah at sorry. this point i think it's fine because yeah. we can just deal with this guy and yeah. find out how to cure ourselves if anything yeah that's true all right so um i will commit an unexpected courage which, along with a magnifying glass, will put me three up. Um, oh, there's the auto fail. Uh, and I'll just do this one regular. But I do get a clue from okay. the last poll because that was just a minus one. Um, and that is it for me. Okay, oh, cool. hunter enemies are going to move. Uh, I would appreciate it if all the hunter enemies could move up, or the two that are going to move, just move up one. I'm going to try to see if I can evade four enemies next turn. It's not going to be easy, but Good luck. let's kill this shit. <laughs> well. Okay, so um, upkeep. All yes. right. Everybody readies. All the cards ready. I'm going to need that shortcut. Uh, oh. I pulled my weakness. Oh. oh. Yes, they're off. It does. Yep. So uh, it is Dexter Drake's weakness. I put it into play in my threat area. I am not allowed to put assets into play. Uh, two oh, actions yeah. to discard it. And it's actually kind of scary here because if you can't get rid of this, then you also kind of can't get rid of uh, David. So yeah. that doom suddenly becomes kind of a, a dangerous thing. 
but yeah. I'm sure you'll, we'll figure it out. It'll we'll be fine. It also, we've, uh, we've got so much time, right? There's... Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All these are. Uh, I mean, everything's an emergency right now. So. Yep. And what did uh, Stella drew? I drew another test of will. Um, so this is just, uh, and it is an exile card which basically cancels a treachery uh, for me or somebody at my location. But I, I'm staying socially distant, so <laughs> probably. Uh, I have potentially good news for uh, for Leo. I have my other cryptic research. Oh wow, <laughs> that's <So>. awesome! <laughs> <laughs> and I just drew an emergency cash. Oh, excellent. All right. So... Hopefully we'll be able to get you an ally or two. <laughs> Leo drew another cash. Yep. All right, so we uh, got Doom on the agenda there. Yep. Uh, that, uh, no, I don't. I, Troy, I don't think okay. we did Doom on the agenda yet. Sorry. But we also have to do the yep. min and the yeah. uh, So, no. uh, neither we of both you take have a horror, right? We'll both take a horror. Yep. Uh, I'm almost hard out. Uh... The, the next encounter card potentially can kill me, I guess. Oh, gosh. Uh, all right. Um, the, one, the one saving grace is hopefully that Min or somebody can, can protect you a little bit. Because at this point, if you two have it, it's probably spread already. So Yeah. Yeah. Like, might as well just commit to it now. Uh, so we didn't put the Doom on it yet, I think. So we're going to 5 Doom yeah, now. So uh, That's right. All right. Here we go. Don't die. Grasping oh, hands. That, I mean, that, that also can kill, kill me. me. <laughs> um, so three agility... Uh, well, first I've thing I'm going to dexterity. If we're not worried about infection between you and I anymore, I have manual dexterity. Definitely, thank you. So, All right, there you go. Either <laughs> so or that puts me at a yeah. three. Yeah, yeah. So that's three for me. Yeah. So and oh, so you're puts using me at a four. Admin. Yeah. And you also want to grab a card with with uh, nickel mines because that's also yeah. It doesn't have to be your you. test, right? Just that's true. Sure. Just any. So we did that, okay. Uh, so that puts me at a four, and then uh, well prepared with Mitch, puts me at a six to a three, and I'll commit the backpack for right. another one. So I've seven. I've got both of my fingers crossed. Seven to a three. Here we go. And it's a minus two, so you pass. Hey. Hey, got there. That's awesome. Alright, All right. Uh, I draw Dexter. a card for oh. manual dexterity. And what'd you get? Okay. I've got Lester Lucky sketches. and Buster Sketches. Eyes in the walls. Um, Yeah, I should just pull that, because I'm pulling on a six. <sighs> if I had pulled that, that could have killed me. <laughs> I mean, what you so did pull could have also killed you. Yeah. True. Yeah. <laughs> uh, minus two, so that is a pass. Yeah. Okay, mine. Uh, grasping Grasp hands. Hand. I actually really, really want to fill this test. I don't think I'm going to, sadly, but I really want to. Make my life so much easier. Elder Shrine, well, I do fill the test. Pay. Excellent. Hey. Okay, so I will choose hey. for the people who come. Uh, Stella's Elder Shrine, I can choose to automatically fill to heal a damage and a horror. I will. That does mean I now fill the test by, uh, by three because my skill value is now zero. So I will take three damage. But I also get to draw a card and. Uh, get an extra action, and that's way more important right now. <laughs> I finally also drew my newspaper, which I've been looking for this entire game. So, see, that that's why you run the catacombs. The rest of us are like, "Why are we here?" And you're like, "I'm looking for my newspaper." <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> or like, I don't know where I am. So I just need to find the newspaper. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I, I left my <laughs> newspaper with the tourists. All right. Uh, I have, I have another ghoul minion because, of course, so. I do. Leo, I think you're gonna have to deal with the ghoul minion, but uh, no, I think no, I want to go first. I've got mine over matter. Okay. Take care of the yeah. pa the pallet masks. Way more important. I mean, I think yeah, but is are you actually going to be able to go? Because he has plus four health, so he's you need to deal seven damage to him, which is a lot. Uh, also, you are quite close to the eight to threshold. You you yeah. have two, three, yeah. six. So uh, that would you be also you do have to spend those clues in the in the tomb, yeah. right? But so we have uh, yeah. potentially two clues from Intel reports. Uh, and then some clues from Min. So I'm actually thinking maybe yeah. Leo actually just kills the Goomin so that Min can try to get a couple more clues. Uh, so I also am holding two clues. I can uh, wander yeah. over, drop I a count every, every clue you have. Yeah. So you, between all of you, you have uh, four, uh, six clues now. So you need a couple of more to advance by using the clues. And also, I won't be able to make it there this round, so if you guys want to advance using clues, you probably should use, try to pick up uh, 
don't count mine, basically. Uh, but I actually... Also, um, I just now realized... I don't, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to backseat pilot, but you actually have a lot of clues, don't you, Leo? Because you've got that scene of the crime as well, and there's enemies at your location. So. Yeah, yeah, I can pull quite a few. But uh, okay. I will die to horror next round if we're in the um, same so we location. Have... Uh, oh, yeah. that's true. Yeah, so then Min would have to leave. Unless... It, now, is uh, social distancing, is that direct horror? Uh, no. Okay. So if I so okay. Mitch could, Mitch would die, so it's fine, I guess. Okay. But if Min can get me those oh, that card draw, yeah, and I get I an ally, that could really help. So Min, I think should yeah. go first. Yeah, that sure. makes sense. So Min All go right. first and see if we draw an ally, and then maybe based on that we can either stay yeah. there or. Yeah, that makes I think, sense. How many clues does Min have? Three. I have so, three. if um, Leo plays both of his clue events, we're one clue short. Yeah. So that's really important. So I think Min goes first, plays the cryptic first because it's fast. So no yep. attacks opportunity there. Chris, Just draw yeah. three cards on the old Let's Leo. Three. Yep. Come on, one time. Ally. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Like All nice. right. And it's also a calling in favors, which can return allies to find more allies. Which is How awesome. How many allies do you have left in your deck? Because you have 12 cards left. Um, so I have like there. three, two or three maybe. Two, I think. Nice. Actually. Okay. okay. Uh, so maybe. I do. I've got a plan to, or a mind of a matter rather, to try to evade. Yeah, that. I mean, that yeah. makes yeah. sense. I think. Yeah. Because then, when the enemy readies, the Leo can take him and just hit him with the machete. Exactly. All right. So uh, I'm evading. That's uh, four on two. Um, and I've got lucky in my hand. So uh, yeah, I think I'll do four on two. And nice. Good. Perfect. All right. All right. All right. Somewhere over there, um, and then I'll uh, look for a clue. Um, and I'm still, yeah, still just one up on that. Um, I'll drop one of these preposterous sketches to get me two up. Mine was three, so I'll spend one for that lucky. Yep. Yeah. And remember nice. this called card. Yeah. Oh, from uh, yeah. Is it a upgraded one? Uh, yeah, it's I don't... yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, uh, I guess if Leo goes first now, or goes next now, we can actually just advance, so I think yeah. uh, that makes the most sense. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, so I'll go first. Uh, free action, I'll spend a resource, play the black cat, and then um, second action, or first action, play scene of the crime. Boom, grab two clues. So, uh, back up a bit. You play as first action the scene of the crime. Yeah. Second action, Black Cat. First no, no. Uh, Black Cat is not an action. It's a reaction oh. from Leo. Yeah. So it's a free free thing. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So uh, first action, scene of the crime, and then second action, uh, I'll pay four to play Intel Report and get two more. So you get four in total. And then I have one more action. Um, can we advance already or no? Yeah, or is that the end of the right, we, we No, no, we can advance right away. So I think we just spend yeah. uh, Min and uh, Leo have to spend the clues. Right. And we Let's can spend the clues. Right now. Do that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, again, uh, you don't uh, read these because okay. I haven't upgraded them. But basically, uh, if you spend the clues to advance, uh, you. Persuade the uh, man in the pallet mask to tell you uh, what he knows about the test results. And he reveals that the patient zero was Dexter Drake. Dexter oh, Drake? Uh, Dexter. The tricky wizard. Wow. <laughs> yeah. and you the good news here is I was rather socially distanced. That's true. <laughs> And he's also still got his face mask on, and he's still got the uh, the syringe, so he can actually cure himself. Yeah. yeah. So Could uh, I have we're... spread it to anyone? I don't uh, that know. You don't... With the mask, I think it's a lower risk, but uh, you can still yeah. spread it. So, so by default, so... Dexter and the assistant is also... Your assistant is also infected, Dexter. So is oh, David Renfield. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so right, we advance the 
Act 3A, the way out. So, gate to hell, discard the location further. Oh, so the place is falling apart, okay. Yeah, the place is falling uh, apart now, and we have to keep discarding locations that are furthest, which I believe actually right now is the Doom of Shadows. Right? <laughs> One, two, four. three, four. That shortcut is okay. really going to come in handy. Oh, no. We can, we can discard one. Top. One. Yeah. Actually, and there's also... Oh, wait, no. This is the actual deck. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. So we have to discard locations every time. Ooh. And when we all get to the gate, uh, uh, the gate to hell, which is the starting location, we get to get out. Uh, yep. uh, Dexter, yeah, come cool. drop that. Come drop that uh, that's, gate, man. That's my intent. <laughs> You're the best, Dexter. Uh, I figure Dexter. I will maintain appropriate social distancing when I do so, so I will leave it here. All right. Uh, well, uh, Leo still has to take one action, so I think. That's I mean, true. Yeah. So I'll move. Action, but I think uh, if you move one location uh, to the stone archway, Dexter could drop it. Um, at the labyrinths, I'll be taking care of these hunters. Don't worry about them. Okay, right. I'll move here. And man, we'll take care of them all he's time. gonna re-engage you this round, but you can yeah. take the attack of opportunity and bring him over with us. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I I can take a hit. It's okay. okay. Should we uh, uh, get Dexter to use the syringe on himself? That is probably a good idea. Probably a good idea. Yeah. I think it's your Dexter. Go ahead. Uh, it's your turn if you want it. Okay. Yeah, I will move to here. Mm -hmm. I will spend a free action to, um, sorry, spend a free action to drop the open gate, so y'all can use this as a nice escape route. Skip past all the hunters, notably. <laughs> um, I will use that syringe on myself. Okay. And the, what, uh, what does that do? So. Instruct the Game Master to change the status of my Investigator or another Investigator at my location from Infected to Non-Infected, if able. Done. Um, and that was two actions to do that. Uh, it's only one action to use the screen. Oh, it's my mistake. The, it was two actions to pick it up. Yeah. Got it. You just want to step so, through your own gate and get out? <laughs> uh, do we... Does anyone else need the syringe? We have no idea. I guess I can uh, I can step through the gate and meet you at the exit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Also, um, I don't know if you noticed, Dexter, but you can use uh, Renfield without putting another two on him, so you should probably just grab another two resources. Absolutely. Here. Yeah. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, uh, Renfield's ability specifically reads that you may place another doom on him, but you always get resources equal to the amount of doom on him, so you can just do that for another uh, two resources, and I don't think we're going to advance, so it should be fine. Famous last words. Uh, then it is Stella's <laughs> turn. Uh, let's, I mean, speaking of uh, we should be fine, let's move directly into this pile of friendlies. Have four enemies engage me. There's that moment where you really wish you'd put, um, what's that survivor card called, that lets you, like, gets extra icons if you have more enemies engaged with you? It's really good. Uh... Oh, uh, the... Not without a fight, I think it's called. Fight, uh, yeah. Yep. Not without a fight. Okay, yeah. I'm going to play fight or flight. Uh, so this is my second copy. Again, I get plus two. Uh, I only get plus two agility this time, but I get to bonus two evade and fight equal to the amount of horror on me. Um, well, I have lots, lots of bad guys. What do you guys do? Leave all the bad guys for me. Uh, first up, <laughs> we're going much. to try to. Inf yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's kind of what I wanted to do, so it's fine. Uh, I'm going to evade the big specter of death first, and I will commit Nighter Inner Snow. So should I fail, I cancel all the effects of the test. That's only a minus one. I do not fail. So the specter of death is evaded. Will not be attacking me. Uh, next up, we're going to try to evade the corpse dweller. Uh, I'm at seven versus four. Well, let me just give it a go. We succeed. And finally, let's try to also get the Malfarn Skeleton. That one should be easy, because it's only one of eight. And I'm just going to take the attack from uh, how you go here. Minus three, that's fine. We have evaded three out of four enemies, which is not bad. And actually realizing now that I don't think anyone... Oh, wait, no, because I don't want to get close to Dexter. If I've gotten infected in the meantime, and then I could spread it... Is that a thing you can do, Game Master? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so at the moment, uh, I have decided if 
a vaccinated uh, player can be. Is immune? Yeah. I mean, yeah, to, I be, to be fair, I don't believe that people in the real world have figured it out yet either. So, uh, yeah, that's I don't think the vaccines figured that out either. Yeah, uh, I will be staying right here because I can use the shortcuts at any points to get to the gate of hell. So, once everybody else is there, I can just get out. Um, so, I don't see any reason to move really. Uh, so I believe that's everybody's turn, right? So we can go to the upkeep phase. Yep. Well, enemy phase first. I get punched enemy by uh, phase, yeah. angry, angry lady, but I don't care. All right, I will get the school minion. Um, game master, I do actually have a very important question. Oh. Sure. If I, no, no, it's fine. But uh, if yeah. I am exactly at half health and I am infected, am I dead or am I alive? Uh. So I have eight, I have eight, oh. eight max health, and I've taken. If I take the attack from Ishimaru on myself, uh, I'm at four damage, which. Uh, as it reads, it's uh, with less than half of their okay. health. So I am four, fine. Yep. Okay, I'm fine. Uh, then we go ready all these enemies, which are really friendly. Mm -hmm. And I believe we then proceed to upkeep? Yep. I, mean, I, guess mm -hmm. I drew upkeep. a 45 Thompson. Yeah, yeah. Are, yeah. And no uh, infection phase because you're socially distant. Hey, live and learn. I love that card. I have another yeah. shortcut. Live and learn nice. is so good. I'm Basically, so happy about that. So, sorry, uh, we're talking to each other. Uh, live and learn, which lets you retry a test that you just failed. Estella, you want to be failing test because you get an extra action. And then you get to retry the test with also a plus two on it. Uh, Min, you drew a uh, shortcut, which. I drew another move. shortcut. It's really yeah. great. Dexter, what did you get? I pulled a quick thinking. Nice. Which lets you take an extra action, right? That's the skill? Yep. And uh, Leo already said you got a 45. Gun. Yeah, so we get another Doom. We're now at 8 Doom in play, I believe. And, uh, well, encounter cards. Here we go. Yep. Let's see. Let's do it, people. The <laughs> shadow behind me. <laughs> Very one, fitting. One last time. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. okay, Dexter. Crypt Crypt chill. Um, Should be fine now, right? Yeah, you can yeah. just get her rid of uh, Renfield. Renfield. I mean, you're probably going to pass anyway. You're at 6, yeah. right? <laughs> Pretty much. So yeah, you pass. I was wondering if when, when I said that, I was like, well, I just drew, drew him another out of fill because <laughs> when you said you're probably going to pass that, you always draw the out of fill, but let's see. Right. There's another oh. Crip Dweller. Uh, is there so, another you right? There are two oh, yeah, there here. Yeah, two, there's uh, two, the two docents over here. Well, one of them just oh. got a little more friendly. <laughs> or do you <laughs> want to put it on uh, <laughs> Google? Please on don't. Me? I, I, that I would be me. Oh, it's fine. I have a poltergeist. I have uh, <laughs> I have enough problems. Yeah. Yeah. Are you? All right. Are you actually? Well, you do have the shortcut, right? So, are you gonna be yeah. okay? Probably. Because no, but let's let's do the math. Because I think from here on, it's literally just Leo yeah. can just move and then move and then it's he's done. Dexter's already do yeah. done, unless he needs to do something else for somebody. You can do uh... shortcuts. One, two, but that needs you need to take two attacks of opportunity. Can you survive two attacks of opportunity? Um, I think she uh, can because of the ally, because yeah. yeah. she has yeah. she'll take six horror yeah. and two damage. And can... then uh, parlay, parlay, and try to evade or something. Well, but if if she has to pass any skill test, then it becomes a game of randomness, whereas if you yeah. know you can take the six dam six horror and two damage, then you don't have to take just any use it as a just... re use your health as a resource, because yeah. we're finishing this round. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we win this round. So if you I can mean, tank the damage, just do it. Doesn't go, Haha. <laughs> I guess yeah. that does I mean, actually mean... That might happen. Um, there is one question that I have for y'all, which is, um, do I need to heal, or do I need to use the syringe on Leo? No, probably, well, I don't know. Because you are above half um, half damage, so if you have it, you're dead. Right, yeah. So how uh, you would, Leo would the move case. here, Dexter does his turn next, and uh, yeah. use the screen. Yeah. Then uh, Min and Stella move in, and you get out. Yep. Sounds right. Yep. All right. Uh, okay, so we got the plan. Well, then, uh... Let's go. Uh, Leo first. Yeah. All right, Leo I first. I, um, I will move one, two. And then just pause your turn. And then, yep. Okay, uh, you do have to shadow behind you. Uh, I will. Yeah. yeah, I'll do that as my third action. I'll look behind me. Oh, right. Make sure they're wearing masks. <laughs> yeah. 
and then uh, Dexter. I will use the syringe. All right. Taking that last resource off. Um, okay. I will spend two actions to discard Yaz talkers. Nice. Uh, well, men, get out of here. All right. So, um, as a fast action, I'm going to drop a shortcut at my location. Okay. Um, and then uh, I'll actually use that so I don't have to change that at all because that's also a fast action to go here. Um, and yeah, then I'll move up here and I'll put the, uh, I mean, I guess I kill the library assistant with the first school hit, right? I think you want to put one whore, no, I think you want to do it just so that you can kill her with the second hit because you want her okay. to take the full brunt of everything. So sure, sure. she takes one whore and then I think it's then two I'm whore taking... on yourself and one damage yeah. on you. Yeah. And then move through the gate. To the gate, another, yeah. yeah. Attack of virginity, which then kills the laboratory assistants with a Gumanian. Yeah. And then you take another yeah. two whore, which fortunately doesn't kill you. And then yeah. you can just pass the turn. Yep, there we go. And, That's right. And well, then I, could, I could spend like roughly five ages evading all these things. I hope you guys don't mind that I'm bringing all my friends back out uh, outside. <laughs> <With today. us. laughs> So much you fun. know what? Okay. Nobody's gonna notice. They're just gonna be annoyed that we're larger than a group of ten. Like that's yeah. the yeah. only thing people are gonna many, be upset about. How many people does the Malform skeleton count at? Because that definitely looks like more than one. Well, I mean, person if, if worth of bones. If it's skeletal, it's probably fine. That's true. Not yeah. a lot. Of... Like, there's not. Yeah. There's. It's not very fleshy. So. Well, uh, I believe that we get to resign because or uh, advance because we have all reached the gates of hell. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, again, there's no resolution, but uh, I'm planning on writing a couple of different resolutions. So, let's see first uh, what's the infection status of the flares. Mm -hmm. So, uh, first we have Leo. Uh, Leo wasn't even infected the whole ah. game, <laughs> and you used uh, syringes on him for no uh, effect. Because <laughs> so, he's uh, old, Dexter, why not? <laughs> yeah, Dexter was the patient zero, and uh, he cured himself with the syringe, so that he's fine. Min wasn't if infected the whole game, and Stella wasn't infected the whole game. So Damn, so Min could have been helping us with tests the whole game. <laughs> well, there's no yeah. way to know, but that would have been... <laughs> no way to know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but congratulations, you escaped the catacombs. All hey, well, we yeah. did it! Died. We're, all, we're, all, we're all healthy, so we don't have to... Woohoo! Uh, yeah, so you don't start the club Woo. abandon, so good yeah. luck. Uh, we good did job. it. I tell you what, we need faster testing. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a good game it was very tight was like we had fun. we had yeah, a lot of close calls <laughs> yeah it's, I mean, so many auto fails just we, we drew nine or so auto fails and only four elder signs like yeah yeah you locked yeah. out with the uh, uh, catacomb stick as you got the yeah. uh, shadows Doom from first the first yeah yeah, so yeah i think if all those uh, tentacles yeah, the uh, balancing factor is nine yeah. Yeah. and on four uh, elder yeah. signs. I, I'm, I'm definitely chalking up all those tentacles. I'm definitely chalking up all those tentacles to the fact that I was sick. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you uh, mean. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, I but, think yeah. it's super cool, uh, super fun this to do this. So thank fun. you very much. All right, guys. Uh, so uh, as far as uh, what what's still going on, FarcomCon uh, doesn't end until way late tonight. There's still a lot of events happening. So uh, first, let me ask you guys: Are you guys doing any events later for FarcomCon? Like hosting any uh, events? No, I uh, kind of I kind of got in between various events. I was planning on doing something, but didn't manage to work it out. So, uh, sadly, no. But uh, I'm going to be cooking dinner in a minute because it's like, <laughs> it's two hours possible. Right. And nobody dinner, so that sounds like a plan. Where are you? Uh, I'm in the Netherlands. Oh. I, uh, oh. It's seven o'clock right now. And um, I, think, I think everybody else just came home. So, time to cook dinner and uh, <laughs> get something to eat. But, hey, we won. So yeah. Yeah. Nice. Well, uh, coming up next, Labyrinth of Lunacy stream. Uh, my fellow great old ones, Man from Leng and uh, Nate from Lost in Time and Space, along with Optimal Play from the YouTube channel Optimal Play. Um, they will be hosting a large 12-person Labyrinth of Lunacy game on their respective channels. So each one's going to host a table on their channel. So 
set up the command station, three monitors, and watch all three at the same time. And um, at 11.30, mess with the Mythos Busters on stream. That's going to be fun. The big blob event happens at 11.30. Well, I'm saying times in Pacific uh, Zone, which... Uh, sorry about that, guys. So that's okay. in the next hour. So okay. next hour is Labyrinth of Lunacy and hour and a half uh, Mythos Busters stream. So... Definitely uh, check out all the events going on at FarcomCon uh, at 2.30, so 2.30 p.m. Pacific, 5.30 p.m. Eastern, the Pikmin's Chaos Bag Showcase. So we'll be showcasing all the entries from Pikmin's Chaos Bag and selecting a winner. There's still time to enter. We've had, I think, maybe five or six entries, so the chance of winning is pretty, pretty high. And the prize is uh, all of the new investigator packs. You get all of them. So... Uh, pretty good chance of winning and plus you get to do something really cool that the community can enjoy doing any kind of art and if you're not good at art don't worry it's fun so just do do your best there's been some really good ones that that have been submitted yeah, and, um, and it's not like uh, we choose the best it's just random between all uh, participants so. yeah. uh, no. the chat is saying that this was a very cool scenario here so yeah it oh, was thanks. very very thematic very with what's happening <laughs> Cool guys. Well, uh, thank you for joining me. And before you all go, I want to I want to plug uh, you guys uh, what you have as far as YouTube channels. Uh, we have JP with Northern Lights Over Arkham. What do you do at your channel? I play Arkham Horror and also Marvel Champions on my channel. Uh, it's like a fifty-fifty split, but. I think I'm lately done more Arkham Horror because of Arkham coming on and and nothing new being released to Marvel for a while. But yeah, check out my channel, uh, follow if you like the content and all that good stuff. And we also have Until the End of Time, fairly new yeah. channel, right? How long have you been doing yeah. YouTube? I think, uh, well, it's definitely been, I started because of the uh, pandemic, so it's been only a couple of months, but uh, yeah, I've been doing, I mean, mostly Stella videos, so, you know, that's kind of my niche, and if you um, have been checking the leaks from the Imker albums or the Google spreadsheet, that's also me, uh, I still have to do a video on the most recent leaks, because everything got leaked a couple of days ago, I think, but um that, so look forward to that. If you're uh, not subscribed, I'm. I've been posting in the chat a bit, uh, but just look up until the end of time in uh, on YouTube. I linked it in the description, so it's in the video oh, description. Awesome. Yeah, both you, you both you guys' channel, and um, thank you all for joining us uh, today. Uh, this was an awesome game. I really enjoyed playing yeah. with all of you guys. Same. Thank you very much. And for thanks, JP, for much. making yeah. the awesome scenario. Yeah, cool. This was wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much.